Hello, everyone. Uh, hello and welcome back to Battle Rap Resume. This is your host, Tom Kui. Thank you so much for joining me again for uh, yet another episode. If you'd like to support the podcast, if you're enjoying the show and like to show support in any way possible, then could you please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel? Uh, subscribe to us on iTunes as well. If you could um, get in touch, perhaps, by email, battlerapresume at gmail.com. I've had some great emails recently. Maybe you want someone on the show. Maybe you disagree with a bar that we went in on. Maybe you'd rather we spoke about this battle. Maybe you want Oh, sorry. And and maybe you want this guest back on or, you know, maybe you want anything, anything you want, Battle Rap Rise. I'll try and facilitate you. Get in contact with me, BattleRapResume at gmail.com. What else do we have? We have the blog as well, BattleRapResume.wordpress.com, the uh, Redbubble shop as well. We have uh, stickers and other merchandise selling there just to help the uh, cost covering. We sold a few of those recently. Just want to say thank you. Uh, You know who you are, the people that have helped out. Thank you so much. But um, anyway, on to today's guest. Today's guest is, um, I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, a bit of hyperbole here but i genuinely think today's guest is one of the most exciting figures new figures in battle rap let alone uh, don't flop definitely in the time that i've been watching it someone to come along and really like just something new bring something new to the scene while doing something in the very kind of you know obviously the the writing and the performance are all tropes we're very familiar with but the way that um gemini does that the professional edge that he has you know how seriously good he is in the ring um is so so impressive i remember when i uh, first saw gemini live quite recently i caught him versus dialect uh, which is a battle that we're going to get into towards the uh, end of the episode amazing battle and we had crafty versus heretic that was a newcomer of the year you know they're kind of new to this so the crowd were kind of waiting on something to be really really high quality for something to really deliver and and bring to them what a birthday event happened and fucking hell like the rounds did that gemini i mean just just to get into this quickly i mean was that one of your favorite performances that dialect performance um you know i just want to say thank you for what you said about it that was really nice and, um, <laughs> no it's all right like i'm not used to hearing that from like people so oh, no. that made me feel good but no, um no, good, man. you know what uh, I don't know Like the dialect battle Mentally when I was Going into it Was a weird one innit? If that makes sense Because I didn't yeah. know Like if my second round Would hit I didn't know Like you don't You never know When your angles Are going to hit So like mm-hmm. With dialect I just kind of Wanted to show I could do The grand thing innit? That's kind of Why I wanted to battle. I was like Alright if I battle dialect I'm going to have a round Where I do what he does innit? it so, Yeah 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 yeah. No No to- uh, it might it might be one of my best performances because a lot of people say that a lot of people say that so that's what I have to go off you know what I'm saying I only go off what the fans tell me I like my clips performance yeah. I like some of my clips performance I like bits of, like you never really like all of your I never look up back like, like so that moments yeah yeah no entirely man and we'll we'll, we'll get on to uh, both of those battles but um i wanted to ask before we get before we get into the battling though like i mean i know a lot of don't flop battlers do music on the side but you were really yeah. i mean you still do music heavily i've been doing music for for years like i was i was uh, like i've been on youtube i've had my own fan base for years from before battle rap like since i was about 15 16 right, right. like yeah, yeah, and yeah, I saw. I was watching some videos this afternoon before we went on, and you and Roars have been boys forever. It seems you got videos way back. Yeah, yeah, I've been brethren's with Roars since I was about sixteen. Cool. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. like we we come up doing the sort of the rapping thing. I met him through music, and if you know what I mean, I yeah. met Roars through music. We were both doing the same music course at college, and it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then from there we just started doing more music stuff outside of college, and that, and then obviously. We met more people Like Obviously we just met Loads of people We met Mr. 13 mm-hmm. Obviously through that I just ended up Getting brought through To the battle rap Were you I mean were you aware Of battle rap When you were making The music say With Roars and everyone else Were you watching The battles No I watched um, Three stars I used to put a fuck With three mm-hmm. And then Then I was off Then I see Arsenal Conceded And then I watched a few people In Don't Flop Like Nishi Like Mr. 13 mm-hmm. And then they put me on to Tony D because they knew him in it, so they showed me Tony. So, but, uh, I didn't even go. Rose went in it. Um, I didn't even go to Verdict in it. I, the first Don't Flop event I probably went to was the fifth birthday. Right. Um, I remember I started um, seeing, uh, yeah, Shoei is hard. I like Shoei. Mm. And I already knew Arsenal like, from when I was a kid. So when I see them and uh, Shoei, I was just like, mm. what the fuck? Yeah, that was a big deal for me. I didn't go first event actually was the fifth birthday. They had a crazy vibe. It was up in Leeds. Um, what was it? it was Arsenal, Sharon, Disaster, Union. Yeah, there was so many. Uh, there was the dialect versus Cortez, the two on two, two um, on twos, uh, DNA villain. 
DNA villain. Mm-hmm. Tons of fucking crazy battles. So I'm in the background of bear of them just because I was front <laughs> and center. Yeah. I didn't know no one, but I was just like, yeah, this is for me it was like some different environment. I'd never been to something like that. Yeah. And 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 like and like with the music, one of the things that I've noticed is you seem so confident on the big stages. Like had you performed a lot kind of live and that was just came naturally? Um, you know what, yeah, the first time I battled I weren't confident. The second time I weren't. By the first, it became kind of normal. I got, um, I have performed before, yeah, I performed. But I've been performing like on venues and stuff since I was like 16. My friend used to have his own, um, good day boy in it, and they used to put on loads of events around London. Um, so I just get like a lot of sets through there. Um, places like Cable before Cable got shut down. Yeah. Um, oh, I can't even think of it. It was mm-hmm. those ones like Cable, and it's kind of events like Cable. There's a few down the road. Um, Places up in Central, just a lot of venues like that. Yeah, yeah. This was in an age though where like dubstep was big, so like you know, like about yeah, about six years ago, that like, when dubstep was yeah, popping yeah, yeah. and that. So it was it was a different kind of scene because I don't really like like I like dubstep to an extent, but like I was a gram rapper trying to trying to um, trying to make the most of them giving me opportunities at like a dubstep event. So it was just a bit different, but it got me used to. And I still perform. I've been performing for like for years now. That like. and and was that hard? Like doing grime sets at dubstep events? Was it a weird crowd or? Yeah, it's a different crowd, isn't it? Because obviously, mm-hmm. the, this is like when it was proper, like that chainsaw type of dubstep. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Just crazy. It sounds like car alarms and everything. Like. <laughs> yeah. So when I'm just playing normal grime tunes and normal things, like, I feel like that's not what they expect. But uh-huh. it. It, it definitely helped me because even today like when I go on sets for Graham it's like I know what people kind of want it's not always just about especially when it's live like a lot of people are too drunk half the time and it's who you got to have stuff that's for tunes you got to have stuff that's for sets and for radio and stuff like that mm-hmm. and it's like it made me learn the difference because like you can't spit every bar you can't spit the same bars you spit on a tune on a set Mm-hmm. Like if it's like a deep tune, you have to have stuff that's meant for sets. So. We'll get we'll get into the first battle, which is obviously Furt's kind of putting you on against Vicious. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like I mean, you know, uh, Tony's there. It's kind of the first. It, I mean, it's the first kind of. This got uploaded January 2014, the second of January. So it's you know a little while ago there. You've got the face of a man. <laughs> body of a swagger of a kid. Vicious, you spit bars about trapping like a young. And that's why I ain't with Vicious. Body bag than I quick if I'm a vet. I put a dog down if he is Vicious. No more. Vicious. Did you have much to go on with Vicious or were you just kind of like, I'm just going to spit my bars? Nah, you know what, yeah. With Vicious, like, it was a random one. Like, yeah. They didn't really <laughs> ask me in it. They called, they called, they hollered me and Rose in it. They hollered me. Oh. And, it was first. He shouted me and Rose. Okay. And he was like, Raw, like, there's a battle there. Which one of you want it in it? And then Rose just called me straight away. Because even before I've been battling, I'd always had kind of bars that are like more suited for battle rap in it. Like, loads of punchline heavy loads of word plays I was scheming on tunes before I knew what a scheme was you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying mm-hmm. and then when I watched battle rap I'm like oh shit this has a name like yeah. they called it scheming I didn't even know this shit yeah, yeah, like, yeah. so and I always had loads of bars that I couldn't put on tunes in it because mm-hmm. they don't make sense like it's too you don't need to say that kind of stuff on a tune there's no mm-hmm. point if you get what I'm saying it's like too much word play oh, like, completely. Completely. it doesn't translate in it. like I knew it as well I was like yeah cool I'll do it because I said to myself I didn't really want to like you know I don't know I never thought about battle rap because I thought it was a long process I'd have to do some sort of I don't know but yeah, first yeah. just threw it at me I was just like yeah cool let's go mm-hmm. and then it gave me vicious and they told me it was some 90 second rounds in it yeah. and I weren't like this was back when I was like then anyway back when I tried out so I was just like 90 seconds I was like oh I've got more to say than 90 seconds yeah, in yeah, it yeah. so when I spat for Vicious because obviously I hate that battle watching it back right, here. Right. when I look back like Vicious was like it was a good learning step because after Vicious like I didn't get kind of a response I wanted you know what I'm saying I didn't get people like I knew my bars were crazy but then I watched it back on camera I was like oh shit like this is a bad performance in it mm-hmm. so then when I went against Frankie like I fully kind of knew what I had to do in it yeah you definitely you definitely upgraded because um, one of the yeah. things one of the things <laughs> one of the things that people take away from this battle and I mean I think the writing of yours is really 
good. Uh, yeah, but thank but you, the, the, the top comment is the video isn't working properly. It's playing at twice the speed during Gemini's rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some dumb shit like that. It's like, think I can't spit properly. I was like, they think I'm spitting too fast. It's because I'm spitting too fast. I'm like, in my head, it's because I was trying to rush my material mm. and I just mm. didn't know it. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, I'll let them say all this shit and then I'm going to kill Frankie, innit? <laughs> shouts to Frank. Yeah, yeah, shouts to Frank. I mean, that's a great shouts battle. Shouts But, but I, 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 like, I like this battle, man, a lot. Uh, you're a vet. Put a dog down if he's vicious. You know, night, night Oh, yeah, like I can't remember. You know what? Yeah, it's so mad, yeah, because after these battles, especially that one, I don't remember nothing from... I don't remember none of my bars from that. I remember something about General Grievous and yeah, yeah, yeah. a few we're, things. We're, weapon from my skeleton. I'm General Grievous. Yeah, metal from the skeleton. Yeah, General metal from Grievous the skeleton. That's, that's dope. Seriously, there's a thing in the first that's dope as well, uh, talking about how his bars embarrass the city. You should have been a decent contender. The beef between us should have been in November. And then basically, you do this whole Guy Fawkes thing and then yeah, yeah, show yeah, V that it's Vendetta. <laughs> Hard as fuck, yeah, man. Shit was hard. Master, like. I remember that's what pissed me off when I watch it back. I'm like, I say it because I was like, rah. When I do, when I flop a performance in it, I don't even think I let myself down half the time. It's like, rah. I'm letting my bars down. Mm-hmm. It's like if I think my bars are good, I need to deliver them how they're meant to. You know what I'm saying? Or you're letting the punchlines, you're letting your wordplay and everything down. Like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's what pisses me off about the the vicious thing because I feel like if I spat them just normally, it would have just hit like mm-hmm. a lot harder. Mm-hmm. Like how I usually battle in it, just yeah, same. Yeah. Relax, but obviously this is before I knew about temp, um, like stage presence and crowd control and everything. No, the, the, what I really like is you learnt so quickly. Like literally, you did the battle. The judges all said you were dope. Need to slow down yeah, in the yeah. Frankie battle. You slow down, and then you're just killing it ever since. It's not like you yeah, know. Respect, man. I mean, um, shout out Frankie. We're gonna get onto Frankie just after this battle. Yeah, he's, Frankie, my G. But but he's one of those guys where the comments are always the same. But he doesn't seem to have adapted, whereas you seem to have just taken it on board and just pushed forward with it, which I really like. I had to man this isn't like my thing like this shit is my shit like it's not like it's not like battle rap's my shit it's just be like rapping like mm-hmm. it's like take I take myself seriously as a rapper like yeah. I'm like so if someone's gonna say I don't like people thinking they're better than me as a like as a writer mm-hmm. as a rapper like that's why I battle and everyone can say oh that's a big headed statement or whatever but you shouldn't want to think that like you should want to think like you shouldn't I'd hate to lose a battle I'm not yeah. gonna lie I'd hate to especially to someone I wouldn't want to lose to like I'd hate it because I'd be like right this person can say they can rap better than me. Yeah. That's how I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's fair enough, man. And uh, Vicious, I mean, Vicious is kind of like one of the great things about doing this show is you see those tryouts that never battle again. So Vicious had the one battle against you and then kind of went back into the shadows. He wasn't kind of really doing much. You have a really hard EastEnders scheme in the second as well. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, yeah, I do. I can't even remember. Yeah, you like, like, if this Queen V, I see, then I'm murdering a square. Like, it's... Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like, 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 I see, yeah, 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 yeah. It's Queen V. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> um, that was hard. You talk about having uh, explosive setups like Bin Laden's team. Nice as well. Oh yeah, I don't really like that now, hero. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. No, fair, fair enough, man. That's I mean, you know, bullshit. it's the uh, it's it's the trial. I'm allowed to have some bad bars on my trial. Yeah, of course you cool. are. Of course you are, man. Like, like, please, I, you don't have many, so I mean, it's fucking allowed to be in the trial. And then, got a few, man. well, we'll get onto it. We'll get onto it. Uh, but Joker, just breaking down the judges in the in the trial. Joker, you know, feels you to slow it down, but he really likes your style. Um, yeah. You know, Bam as well says the same thing. He thinks you'll really be a problem, and it's great to see that in your trial everyone's saying yo watch out for this guy and then you know a year later you body Big T at a birthday it's just like it's crazy the progression you had yeah I gotta thank Don't Flop for that as well like I'm not gonna lie like big shouts to like everyone on Don't Flop for that because yeah, obviously if obviously obviously I've done my part to like keep up my end of the bargain but they didn't have to like you know what I'm saying they could have given me extra free people before I got to all the people I've got to you know what I'm saying so I appreciate what they done but same way if I think if I took one of those like big opportunities they threw at me and then I lost badly I wouldn't I'd have to do that so it's a bit of like 50-50 with that but no big shouts to Don't Flop for that man no of course man and like they need to do that you know certain people they push like they pushed Raptor they pushed one and it seems to be they know what yeah. they're doing they know who are the big guys that will be on big stages and it always turns out yeah 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 so um, we move on to the next battle against Frankie as we were saying obviously the uh, the famed ghostwriter <laughs> I remember the fifth birthday when we met in Leeds. You approached me so respectfully because Cracker played you my music and when you saw me, you remembered me. <laughs> First I thought you were cool. But now I see the snake in you because real talk, I ain't lying, I ain't got to pretend. After the two-on-two title match, I asked you if it was true and you admitted it, nodding your head, quoting 
ask you, bro, naming people, would that pop to my head? Is I met you four hours ago, fucking hell, but we're not even friends. Yeah. <laughs> this, this was very soon after, so did you literally just say the first? I, I, I can't let anyone think that they're better than me. I've got to show what I'm really like. No, I don't even talk to first like that. Like first is like family to me, you know, like big man to yeah, that yeah, first yeah. is that like family. So obviously he was staff at the time. So obviously I think I, I might have just told him that like, who that like, asked him who's next. I don't even remember how it happened, but I probably asked him like, yeah, when's the next battle? And he probably said, oh, bro. Oh, I remember what he said, yeah, because I picked Frankie, innit? it? It was between Frankie Fraser and Akers, if you remember Akers. Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't want to bow Akers because I think he was like 15 or 16. And I was like, no, I'm not better than a kid. No part. But, um, and I was like, Frankie's the one who's got like the more hype in it. Yeah, 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 totally. I like Frankie, but I was just like, I was like, if I beat Frankie, it means more than I beat Akers. Mm hmm. Because Frankie Fraser was that guy before me. Because obviously Frankie Fraser had his tryout before me as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before me. And his tryout was, he had a better performance. Like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't spit really fast. And obviously people had heard about him being a ghostwriter. It was just a lot of hype around his name. So I was like, if I can take all that from him, that's a better look than what I can do with Akers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Totally. And as, as you say, just to put this in context of history, uh, fifth birthday had just went down and he gets mentioned um, by both yeah, teams. And I was in, there. You know, yeah, 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 you were there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah you, you, go, you go into it. Yeah, just, yeah, I go, yeah. I yeah, yeah. Ones, yeah. And uh, so, so in Frankie's first, you know, I mean, Frankie obviously can write his ass off. There's no question of that. He's like, crazy, right? Like, bits roll around with a stick like an ultrasound. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a bar. Uh, yeah, he, he had a few good bars. Yeah, he had some serious good stuff, but he, but he chokes early in the round. Does that Was it in the first or the second? It's in both, yeah. He just kind of, I mean, is it a choke? Is it a choke? He kind of like, you know, he gets lost for words and then stops. But is that annoying to you when your opponent is kind of letting down the whole look of the battle? You know what, yeah, a few of my opponents are choked. Now you mention it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dialect <laughs> and the third, yeah. Dialect and Yunnan. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know what it does, yeah, just because obviously it's not their fault. I don't blame no one. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's just it's just a, like it don't help our battle for what our battles meant to be. If that makes sense, yeah. like I don't really wanna, I don't wanna wash. Like it's not battles ain't fun when they're one sided. No, like to watch back. That's why I feel like some of my battles maybe don't get watched enough, even though they're with on big names. Especially when you, especially when someone has a bad performance, they ain't gonna even post it. Like, let's be real. Mm -hmm. So when people have a bad performance, they don't want to see that because you don't want to promote what you are in a negative light you know what I'm saying so yeah choking definitely does affect the battle like I don't like my opponents choking but you see me in battles when my opponents choke I tell the crowd to shut the fuck up you are very respectful yeah it's great yeah, like, I don't like that because I've choked in it, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, it's definitely not saying it's funny, like, you hear the crowd just trying to heckle a bit and it's just like, nah, shut up, let them get their thoughts yeah, together. Yeah, 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 no, I, I agree, I hate that. And you talk you talk of Fifth Birthday, it's basically what your first round is about, how uh, yeah, yeah, Frankie yeah, approaches you because he heard your music and then, like, basically sort of, you're like, and he starts telling you all his bars and spilling his heart out to you, like, I met you four hours ago, we're not even friends. Like, nah, 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 obviously, I made it sound worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, of course, yeah, yeah. Like, like, obviously, Obviously, we just got talking in it, and obviously, obviously, I see what I see about everyone calling him a ghost right or obviously, uh, I asked him about certain things, obviously, and then I just wrote my round about it, and I was just like, obviously, I'm cool with Frankie, but yeah. that battle was just kind of cutthroat for me. It was just like, nah, I've got to get rid of you, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just differently, like, just because it's that's what battle rap is. Like, I'm cool with everyone, but if I'm better than you, I don't, I don't like. There's no. There's nothing like I'm not friendly. I'm not gonna go that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Of course. Yeah, that that's the worst when you sort of have like joke, joke. Yeah, we ain't slap boxing. Like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we ain't slap boxers. And like one of the things that I know is obviously you talk about the, the fact that a lot of your opponents choke. I think it's because you are just the sheer force of your skill is quite intimidating. Like you just nah. Can't... I feel like I don't feel like that. I feel like I, don't, I feel like Yunnan Yunnan's choke because it's just that happened. I feel like that just happened. I feel like Dialect might not have known his third like he wanted to yeah. and maybe my second might have thrown I think my second might have thrown him off a little mm -hmm. bit because my mm -hmm. second kind of hit quite strong in it. but um, I don't know like, I feel like some people I don't know I feel like maybe maybe there's like not like too many great things to say because like sometimes I'm waiting for like I wanted a lot of my battles to be wars innit? I'd rather yeah. certain of them being classic in it just because it doesn't change the thing, innit? If a yeah. battle's debatable, I will, or I win. 
in in a sense it's still the same bloody thing in it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. it don't make real much of a difference in it no I completely agree like I don't know if you're uh, I mean you do know JC uh, the battler yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was an interview with him he's obviously an incredible writer and he was saying that he's just taking like more minor names than big URL guys because they make good battles yeah. Like it's like if you know if he takes a check against Averb, it's just no one's probably going to watch it after the first time. Whereas if he has a you know classic with I don't know Serious Jones or something, then that's I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Averb's one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. When he's when when Averb's like oh man a hundred, he's one of my favorites. But Pure. he's just very rare. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's not. Yeah, he's not really. I mean, I don't know if you've seen him versus Ilmac on King of the Dot, where he's like, he's so lazy. He just has no bars. He does not give a fuck on King of the Dot. No. He don't give a fuck. No. He battled Caustic as well. That shit was shit. Yeah, that was awful. That was terrible. That was really. Bad. But yeah, no, I do think Averbs. I like JC. <laughs> I like JC, but JC's more. He's he's more pen. I like I like Averb style in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. He has and both, presence. doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. He has a yeah, lot. He's got mad charisma and mm. shit. Like. Yeah, yeah. No, he's uh, he's he's really good. And then and then Frank, you know, his second, he goes in on your appearance, your eyebrow eyebrow slits. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Your eyebrow slits and an eyebrow ring. Yeah, I yeah. know when. I know yeah. when. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. I like that. That was. That I was. Think was really I laughed funny. at that. Yeah, that yeah. Jokes. That was quite unfrank. Yes. Normally he's talking about boxers and philosophy. Philosophy, but he just kind of went very simple. Yeah, and then my next rounds, I just kind of went with bars. <laughs> no, the next, the next, the next round is is crazy. I mean, especially when you talk about the whole disaster situation. You know, I wouldn't stand there and make him pick pick his hat right back up. Like the way you deliver that, it's fantastic. Yeah, because I was there as well for that. Yeah. I was behind um, you know, mm-hmm. in that battle. Yeah, if you see, if you watch that battle, yeah, him and disaster, you won't really caucus me because I've got a hat on and shit. But I'm right there. I tell Yunan to kick him on the floor and shit just because I was wavy as shit, yeah? <laughs> and I was like, I didn't know who Disaster was. I was just like, this American's mocking you, bruv. I didn't even know who Yunan was like that. Right. I was just like, this American is trying to boy you. You're English. And he's sleeping on the floor. I remember when he was sleeping on the floor, I was like, Black, kick him. But I didn't really know nothing back then, but I was tripping that. No, fair enough, man. Like, my first event, yeah, I was, I was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to just embrace it, haven't you? And like, Yeah, um, it was different. I was just like, yeah, I'm getting twists up. Yeah. I had the whole Ian Daniels there. We drove up in a minibus and everything like <laughs> like 50 like 20 of us in a fucking in a minibus with just juicing the whole way there literally mm-hmm. like Jesus Christ and like obviously Tony won as well so it would have been a great sort of celebration for you guys yeah Tony won yeah. it was a sick day like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie I like Leeds Leeds is cool mm-hmm. I fuck with Leeds heavy yeah I think I think the next birthday's there actually yeah it is, it is, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well that's what they said unless they change it but I'm cool with that I wanna go back to Leeds yeah. Leeds is cool man nah I agree yeah the vibe's great isn't it yeah you know what it is yeah because you know when you're at ministry um, obviously smoking outside and just the whole when you're outside obviously when you're in Leeds you're on the uni campus kind of thing so yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. it's so much more free open space you can go walk down to the shop come back like it's more relaxing it don't feel like a whole proper ministry of sound type thing you know no, you- I like ministry of sound but for a two day event I think Leeds is a more relaxed mm. and like chilled vibe it's a better vibe for a two day event yeah yeah I agree and it's just fair as well isn't it like the don't flop speak all over the country it's just yeah it's yeah just, yeah it's, it's always it's always either London or Leeds mm-hmm. it's two biggest places I think they get their fans yeah 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 it's what yeah. people come to innit yeah you think Manchester would be big as well but I guess Leeds is the one they go for yeah, but yeah, do you know, I think it's not that far though for people from Manchester no, to get no. to Leeds. So I think that's, that's right. why it's like, I, yeah. And I think the I don't know actually, nightlife in Manchester is pretty good as well. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so just in the second as well, loads of great bars here talking about how his heart pouring out on the sofa. That's a therapy session. It's a huge oh, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, crowd yeah. are really. I think there's there's a kind of a twitching of the ears here. People are like, okay, two rounds in, this guy's fucking dope. Like you know, people are really vibing with you. Snaky friend filled with traitor venom I don't even remember that yeah, yeah, I was yeah, that yeah. one I was like yeah, that's just a little remember. build that's just a little build bar and, and then I really like the end he's sick at writing he's just shit at the ghost part yeah that was jokes <laughs> I like that you're a good writer you're just shit at the ghost part that was funny yeah yeah that I was. found that jokes that's like my humour that's why I don't crack too many jokes because my humour is quite blunt <laughs> <laughs> my humour is just blunt as shit just honesty yeah. Yeah, and uh, you end up you end up taking it five nil. Um, Old English feels you smash for all three rounds. Um, Blizzard, you know, 
just dig the whole battle really cracker talks of you just being you know being really in the mix as well blood stroke joke everyone's just vibing with you here and before we get into the raptor battle like what was your i mean you say you say to dialect in your battle which we'll get onto you say that you both set goals last year and dialects obviously was to be a champ and he didn't get that but you got your goal what was your goal was your goal just to keep going keep bodying what i said that to dialect you said something along the lines that you had goals last year as in this year of battling and you achieved them like what was your mindset for battling like in don't Fly? did you want to just keep you know going um i always watched battle rap thinking i could beat people mm -hmm. and that's not me being big-headed again that was just my opinion yep. i was just like oh i can do this i was like i write this stuff on my phone and i never put it on tunes because you don't like i said to you the shit don't make sense on a tune like it's the same stuff like i write like the way you got punched and stuff like it's how i've been writing for years all these schemes i've been doing that for years as a it's something on my youtube i've got shit online like and it's like oh you can listen and i'm scheming way before i ever done battles mm -hmm. like when i'm 18 and shit like and, and what, what, what do you think of scheming? What do you think of battlers that just used to scheme? Do you think it's too much? I think schemes are great when they are, like, catered for someone. Like, I'm trying not to use myself as an example. Right, right. But um, when a scheme fits someone personally, when it's not just, okay, teaspoons, knives, forks, <laughs> dressing tables um you know what i'm saying like when it's like okay there's something about him and then you make a scheme out of like something like when i did with tally with the car that's the only one i can think of i went a car scheme off tally because i say you, you use your cars to get from you use little cars in your setups to pull off your setups like the italian job yeah and then i start doing a car scheme yeah. from there so it's like okay you see how i got there i didn't just say okay i'm gonna do a car scheme to conda civic Ford, BM, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I like schemes, but I feel like I don't do them. If you don't realize, I don't do it. You, you, I might do a two bar scheme. I don't mind like two bar schemes mm -hmm. because that's just a punchline to me. If you like relate your like two bars together, when you've got like a four bar or eight bar scheme that kind of is just come out of nowhere, it's like, okay, but we can all do that. That's how I feel about certain schemes. It's like, mm -hmm. I stopped doing them because I realized if they're not specific, it's not really that, I don't think it's too creative. Like, it's just sitting at home thinking of all the things that can be two words that are like associate with each other. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, just break. picking every musical instrument and then breaking down how they can all be different words and mean different things and then just writing bars about it. But it's like, that's not actually about your opponent at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing to do with them. Yeah. No, I like schemes. Don't get twisted. I like schemes. I just feel like that they, they do need to be direct and about someone and like have to use something about their life and then make a scheme out of it. That's cool <laughs> about how they do what they do. Yeah, I yeah. can't remember the last scheme I got. No, no, you? no. I mean, I'm, I'm more asking just out of curiosity and your opinion. Yeah, yeah, no, I do than, like uh, schemes, innit? Yeah. But I prefer more in tunes, innit? If people do that little... I think, like, schemes, like, I feel like there's there's certain wordplay that works better for tunes and a certain wordplay that works better for battle rap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like schemes are more things that sound clever in tunes than they actually do in battle rap. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, when Chilla done that long one against... Um, prep and he's just naming bare disney films it's like okay i mean i guess he ended it in the he ended it kind of and made it relate because he's like um he's a pg mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this pg is animated so i guess it that kind of worked mm -hmm. but in a sense i didn't like it because he drew it out for so long and he's like oh no yeah, no, oh, no, no the crowd will go mad he's like i'll give this rat a toolie it's like oh yeah, it's kind of yeah yeah, it's just like you know, it's just I don't know. It sounds really fucked up. But you're trying to be gangster when you're talking about fucking Disney shows, like <laughs> saying like bruv. you'll be left frozen. You, the shit will go bam, be. It's just yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, no. like I don't know. I like schemes. I do like schemes. Mm -hmm. Some people can pull them off better than me, so like I can't. Sometimes I react to certain people's schemes. So I'm like, that's fire. But mm -hmm. more time I like short schemes, like two bar schemes. Yeah. So just get out of the way. Don't draw out a four bar scheme about plates or something. Yeah, yeah, no, entirely. Man. Like, and, uh, yeah, anything. I mean, you can, people scheme on anything. But hey, yeah. certain people can do it, and I still react. So, mm -hmm. if you can do it, you can do it. In it, I it just ain't my style really scheming no more. Yeah, I think you've got I've more skills in your schemes. arsenal. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to do them. You've done them. Like it's just kind of. Yeah, some people do them well though. So I'm not really hating. I no, just no. say my preference in it. Like no. some people can execute them well. Yeah, I mean, including uh, Raptor, uh, which is the next battle that we're getting into. Raptor's done a few schemes here and there, and um, just a little weird coincidence. 
uh, I just want to kind of point to the listeners. So this morning I Googled Gemini Raptor just because I wanted to quickly watch the battle again. But I don't know if you're rare, Gemini Raptor is an actual dinosaur. Like, that's what it's called. Oh, yeah. A Gemini Raptor is an actual thing, oh. as it were. Apparently, uh, it that's was in the... Easy. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? <laughs> if you literally Google Gemini Raptor, anyone listening, it's the first thing, is the Wikipedia article on the Gemini Raptor. Um, hey, so there you that's go. That's kind of sick. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> that's jokes. Uh, it's from the Cretaceous period, apparently. I'm just talking off YouTube, uh, off uh, Wikipedia now. It was found in... You just U- gave me a flashback to my third round when you said that. Right, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember uh, having to remember what that word meant and shit. Yeah, 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 you killed it, man. You killed it on that round. Um, I've done research on raptors. Well, not on, not on raptors. Oh, raptors. I've done research on like <laughs> yeah. dinosaurs and shit to make my bars make sense. I was like, i got to make sure this makes sense. Yeah. I ain't talking shit. It, it works, man. And this is obviously you versus raptor was a, a huge battle. I mean, majorly hyped. Yeah, it's probably the biggest. It's not the biggest for both of us, though. I'd say we probably would have had to do a few more. Maybe not raptor, actually. Yeah. I'd say I would have had to do a couple more battles, maybe, to Yeah, you know I mean, what I'm saying. Uh, but I mean, like, realistically, this is your... This your third battle and this is the last yeah. kind of small room battle you've ever done like yeah which is, yeah it was which the is last mad. yeah it was the last yeah 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 you know that was yeah definitely yeah. that's the last face i've battled in front of that many people yeah 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 um, long time ago yeah I mean long time ago I do remember this coming out uh, or at least happening and everyone was just fucking hell this is so so good I think Bagnell tweeted about it or something that it was really good and you know. yeah you know what yeah everyone everyone kind of everyone that was there this is when I was new and everyone like all the, all the vets were always showing love like dialects so mm-hmm. archaic like and they were all there and they were all that like, saying great things especially yeah to see I was watching the judge and I was like oh shit Soul was there that's cool that he was uh, I think, did he yeah, battle Soul, archaic right yeah he battled yeah. arc Soul even said um he was like, oh, that's the best. He said it in his when he done yeah, his. Um, yeah. He's like, that's the best battle of the year so far. So like, big up Soul and for keeping it real. Soul always keeps it real. That's oh, what man. you rate about Soul. Oh man, like uh... if you don't fuck with something, I'll say it. If he does, you will. So I rate that. Same with Diet. Always say that Diet. Be like proper. Diet tweet a battle. For keep. He's like, oh, someone would want to battle in the future. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. on a humble thing, like just showing yeah. respect. So I was like, yeah. Yeah. Always yeah, yeah. with dialect and soul. No, I mean, they're both, I mean, both of them are absolute legends. Uh, I definitely want to get dialect on the show. So, dialect, if you're listening. So, um, obviously, Raptor is a, a giant prospect. Um, you know, he went on to, after this, have some incredibly good battles. You know, battle Big Cannon. Uh, Tony was great. Pass. Soul yeah. as well was obviously big. But, I mean, had you watched Words of Weapons? Were you a fan of that? Did you know Raptor from there or? No, I didn't like when I watched um I didn't know Raptor until they told me who he was and they told me it was so I can remember now you're saying it was jokes because man was talking to Ur and Ur just hit me up like yeah we, we want to give you Raptor in it and saying it like I'm meant yeah, to know yeah. who the fuck he is in it <laughs> and I was just like who's that I yeah. said it so he's like what you don't know Raptor yeah 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 and I was like no nah, he's at like, words of weapons and I was like I right, as he battled on don't flop and he's like he's done his tryout and I just what I always say I was like they set me up in it I said it to Ur the other day as a joke in it I say it as a joke they set me up because all I could see from Raptor was his fucking his WAW battles mm-hmm. um, and good some battles. Ac- huh? good, good battles. battles yeah yeah good battles but they're all on beat yeah, yeah. I don't care what you in an acapella battle it kind of don't really matter what you can do on mm-hmm. beat in mm-hmm. a sense and so I was like, right, I can see his on beat battles, and he had like some acapella battles, but from years ago. With, yeah. Like, well, I said it in my battle with like people like this E Villabra and mm-hmm. other people, but years ago, like before we battled, like two years before we battled. So, and I didn't think he was all that. Like, I didn't know. Like, he had mainly multis. Mm-hmm. He was a good rapper. Yeah. He didn't have many punchlines and shit. No. And I say it in my battle. I say it in my battle. I was like, oh, you just have multis. Like, and he didn't. And I say it after. I was like, they set me up. I was like, Raptor could have killed me. Like, I didn't know in it. Like, I said it. I was like, raw, like, I'm lucky, in it. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, in a rap about, I thought I got lucky because I said it to her. I was like, I took this guy. Now I think about it, it's like, it's not maybe like I could have written crazier shit because the shit I've written was as good as, like, you know mm. what I'm saying? But mm. it was like, I felt that after. I was like, raw, I should have written better, like. In a battle, we lost the future. He goes hard at whiffing. That's hard, I dig it. You find it hard to kick it like Mr. Miyagi when his calf is injured. So in his bars, in his bars, just listen. When he's charging, switching, it's because the cocky endorses makes him see red like Father Christmas. What I'm snorting. <laughs> no, I, 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 um, I, I, I don't know, man. I think I think this is a really close battle, but I kind of have you winning it quite clearly. I know a lot of the comments are like, oh, it's really contentious, but I think Raptor got better and better where you were like to kind of develop to begin with, and maybe he needed this to kind of push off. I feel like, I feel like 
he got the first. I, I, I like agree. I, got the last I agree. Two. Yeah, that's that's what I think. Like that's literally how I do. It. I feel like his second was good as well, but I feel like what he did in the second just didn't overpower him. that one long thing I had. That one long thing when I start rhyming. Well, my first when I start doing that Wagwan fam, the mm. first one I dropped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think from there, like, and obviously a couple punches I had before that, the Worms Armageddon. Oh man. I just punched more than him. Uh, that was the thing in that, that round. Worms I punched punch. more than him. Yeah, yeah. He's His best punchline was the. Um, and it was crazy obviously he, he's used it ever since like we both you took something from that battle and kept running with it mm. I still say Wa Guan fam to my to, to man in my battle he still yeah, yeah. says you'll get a hole in your face before you open your mouth like. yeah 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 but obviously so Soul kind see, of like, yeah Soul kind of used that against yeah, yeah, him yeah 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 um, um, which you're meant to, in it, like um, yeah, like like you use grime against dialect. You just got to sort of yeah, you got to use like you got to use people's strengths against them, like mm-hmm. especially if you feel like you can do what they're good at. Yeah, yeah totally. you know what I'm saying if you feel like someone's strength, you can do or do better, or you can even make it look like you can, in it. You got to do that because that's taking someone's power. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, entirely. And Raptor with a slightly bad bar in his uh, first, talking about shortening your air supply like you've been to the barbers. You mean like air as an yeah, air? Yeah, like hair, hair supply. Hair, hair, like your air supply. <laughs> but you don't say hair like... supply, do you, on your head? Like, you just, that doesn't really get said. Yeah, but no. you know what? Yeah, I don't know. He was, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. I'd be, I'd be like, he's Shortened writing... your air supply like he's doing barbers. <laughs> he's, he's, writing, he's writing, he's got some really good stuff in here, no doubt. The kind of uh, spotted me for bars like a gym partner that sort of shit but yeah, that's um, a good bar. he kind of got sub- gets obsessed with stone doesn't he in this battle like he, he has like a whole yeah. round on your surname or your name being stone or something yeah basically like when I first um, started battle rap it was just on my Facebook name innit? and he obviously he right. found my Facebook in it and it was like hey, that's not my real name though innit I was like this is my Facebook name mm-hmm. like yeah, yeah, so I just said it in my second round. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's not my name, bro. And we were talking about schemes just before. You have a great toothpaste scheme in the second. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't really like it now. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny how that like, you. Like, now, yeah, I look back at it. I'm like, what the fuck was I talking about? Why yeah, am I yeah. scheming about fucking toothpaste? Yeah, yeah. It but yeah, yeah. <laughs> for them times, yeah, that's what I see. Yeah, certain things, yeah, work for the time. Because right. at the time I was doing that, schemes weren't how I see them now. They were still kind of like new. This was still, I was used to writing like that from tunes. Like I was saying before, I was used to scheming like on tunes and shit. Mm-hmm. I had schemes against Frankie. If you look at my earlier battles, I have schemes mm-hmm. because I was used to just writing like that in general, innit? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I look back at that that scheme. Yeah, I, really uh, it was, it was, I, I kind of liked it. You know, she gave me Oral B. That's all. That's all. Yeah, it's all right. It's light now, and at the yeah, time yeah, it was yeah. good. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. But the whole second, your whole second round is is like a room shaker. Really, I love when Safe, you man. when you ask, you say, "Who thinks Ryan's tough?" And one guy says, yeah, "Me." Me. And then you no, mean, that's Raptor. Oh, oh, was that Raptor himself? Raptor. Yeah. You oh, can't, right. He says it like, "Oh, he goes me." Yeah, like, yeah. It's yeah. Raptor. Yeah. And you, and you like throws me off. Like you know, you incorporate operated so well like and uh, yeah I, was, I got I remember I got mad I was like fine <laughs> yeah, that was jokes uh, Russian no, star at your arsenal get... yeah that mm. shit was crazy mm. like our Sharvin's last transfer <laughs> fucking hell yeah that shit was crazy that's I'm not even gonna I'll be real that's a bar um, I had years ago mm-hmm. but um I never really released well, the yeah, tune. Well, yeah, he left Arsenal different... years ago, didn't he? So it was a bit yeah, like... Yeah, no, yeah. but it was a different tune, innit? Mm-hmm. It was a different tune. Um, it was a different bar. It's when he played for Arsenal. It was like, oh, something about the Arsenal with a Russian star, R. Shavin. And I was like, oh, shit. I never said this. I was like, how can I make it work? I was like, mm-hmm. right, what was his last transfer? I was like, cool. <laughs> and I was like, I take the Arsenal out. I was like, I can just revamp it, innit? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's like, even things like that. Like, I had the bar like that when I was 17. Literally, mm-hmm. that R. Shavin, Arsenal kind of wordplay, Russian mm-hmm. star. Mm-hmm. That started when I was proper young yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but then I realised when I do battle rap I'm like right these things actually hit way harder mm. like saying that in a battle got me got me like they brought me back for it yeah yeah no it's a, and then the whole I mean sorry you just saying before I interrupt you you and Raptor are going to do something together or nah 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 we've no. got to get in again though yeah uh, what are you going to rematch yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually, mm-hmm. eventually, eventually. Probably, ho- maybe next year. Hopefully, next year. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that makes maybe. makes sense. Next year, if not the year after, one thousand percent, like one thousand, because I won't have anyone left to to, to avoid me, like to avoid <laughs> yeah. going for Raptor. If that's what I'm saying, like, yeah. I'm I'm the one who puts it off to be real. I put off rematching Raptor because I say <laughs> build up some more time behind it. Mm-hmm. it. Ain't been that long yet. No, it hasn't. I mean, you don't want like a shutty um, Arsenal where they kind of did it too soon and it's a bit weird. <laughs> 
No, I feel like if me and Raptor rematch, it would be crazy no matter what. Yeah. But um, because we're better, like I feel like no disrespect to Shotty and Arsenal, that was like one of their best dems in it. Mm-hmm. I feel like me and Raptor are better than what we did, and it weren't necessarily what we did. It was like the the battle, mm-hmm. like it was back and forth. So I know with Raptor, Raptor, Raptor's not a clean win, right? I know Raptor, I can't clean Raptor. Like, mm-hmm. Raptor, you don't, I don't know, I don't think you run through Raptor. Like, you can't really run through him like that. No, 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 no. no so I know me and Raptor, I feel like me and Raptor, if we battle again, it's going to be another classic. It's like part two. Everyone yeah. says we battled too early. Bare people have said it. Like, oh. uh, uh, says it in the, in the actual video. Does he? Yeah, he says that he, he should he felt that he should have held on to it, but he was just like, why not? And I think in the end, it did work best. It both gave you such a break, you know. Yeah, and it's like the beginning. That's kind of like the beginning of where the story starts for us. Mm-hmm. It's like that's the that's the battle that started everything. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, our stories are boring without saying, yeah, we've got some sort of. We ain't got a grudge, but there's that thing there. It's like, right, we got to get that in again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you would. And people know that. Yeah, like the fans always say, yeah, Gemini versus Raptor rematch. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. no, it's a big, it's a big, big match. It's a classic match. Raptor. While I don't think his writing is quite on his big canon level, his performance is just insanely good. He's just really going at you. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. do you find yeah. that a little bit like when someone's really going in your face? You seem like quite a calm guy. Do you not let it phase you or? Uh, I know these people, so like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah. don't like right, right, right. I know everyone is like I know everyone outside battle rap in the same sense so it's like I don't really like with Raptor I don't mind in it like mm-hmm. I don't mind it with anyone in it just don't fucking push me or something yeah yeah care. no yeah def- like, that's why with Big T you see me and Big T were bumping each other I weren't happy in the Big T battle no. I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't calm I wasn't I wasn't I, I hated Big T when I battled him yeah. I wanted to kill him I like, literally wanted to punch him in his face mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because he was trolling me all over fucking the internet, and I don't do that type of shit. He's all getting at me on Twitter all the time. And he's like, "Oh, he said something to me, tweeting me like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push you off the stage or some shit.'" And I was like, "Bro, if you touch me, like, so when I battle Big T, that's the only person I profit it like." But even yeah. now, like, I fuck with Big T heavy. Yeah, he's a fucking yeah, joker. Yeah, he seems like a dude. Man. But he's just an ant- he's an antagonist. Mm-hmm. He'll wind you up on purpose. He wants you to do that shit. Well, he knows he can't outright or perform you. So he kind of No, you know what? His performance, I give him he's got performance. That's oh, yeah, the one no. thing I yeah. his performance is crazy. Mm-hmm. Like I give I give Big C that his performance yeah. is is one of the best I give him that. Yeah, yeah. And just just to close out your third as well, tons of great stuff. The Koki endorses makes him see red like Father Christmas. Yeah, I like that boss mm. though. Took, mm. took, took people took people a little while to get that boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Ur's a little delayed on it, but like he always has a good reaction Ur, to bars. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah like, Ur's got know. a joke reaction. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you sort of, I mean, we we touched on this before, but you touched on his WAW stuff, his words of weapon stuff. Um, yeah. Proof that Raptor can't survive the future. It's obviously battled someone called Future. Yeah, for were. me that was like. There's certain times, yeah, you write sign and you kind of know. It don't happen too much no more, I'm not going to lie, yeah, but, like, back in the day, I'd write something and I'd be like, I know this is going to hit. Like, you can't... Like, it was jokes. When I, when I first started, I was like, you can't do nothing if I say this. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah, like, you yeah. can't do nothing. I was like, I've broken... I was like, you're a raptor and you lost to a person named Future. I was like, this is like God's free gift to me. Like, it's like a free just haymaker. That's how I saw it. And I was like, let me connect it right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It just worked, but... It's, I mean, it's insane. And I want to, I want to. If I knew I had to rematch Raptor, I would have kept that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) But I I think, I think the thing is, most people wouldn't have known about Words of Weapons then and wouldn't, definitely won't know about it now, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. No, I think they probably would have known about it more then, Mm -hmm. to be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for sure, for sure. But I just want to say, before we jump into the next battle, check out Raptor's Words of Weapons battles. Um, They are fucking really good. He battled a guy called Jackus as well. That was quite a good battle. Um, Jackus was dope as well. Like, Jackus was really. Uh, really, really fucking good. But um, in this, in the, at the end of this battle, you call out Tally. Was that huh? just you wanted another scalp or? Oh, you know what? Yeah, Tally was someone I wanted to battle more than anyone. I don't know why. I think Tally's one, Tally's one of my favourites. Yeah, yeah, so it's insane. Tally. Yeah. Uh, Tally, he's got a unique style. Um, no one else in the whole battle rap world raps like Tally. Nice. No, um, nah, no one. Um, yeah, I just wanted to battle Tally. Uh, they knew that. Yeah, Tally was kind of yeah yeah we're all good man uh, the best sorry I'm just I could take about, uh, right then as well you he just Tally come off the win from Craze um, that was a crazy battle um, and obviously this was a point I wanted the best people I didn't ever want someone that weren't like the best didn't it yeah yeah, yeah. Like, 
it's the best yeah, yeah, boxing I, I could have I'd go for it and they told me about the battle that beforehand mm-hmm. and they told us to kind of take shots at each other oh, and I was they? down and Tally was down <laughs> yeah they were like no they said something I think we said we were going to take shots at each other I think right, they right. said it to us and we were like cool we're going to have a dig at the next battle and then we knew it was going to be like the battle after so it's like, like we're battling the same card set up like so yeah like I and, fuck with Tally heavy like yeah, we're not no, personal like yeah, yeah. but no, no, no. That was a that was a battle I wanted. Like I like battles I want, and I think if you don't, some battles, yeah. Like I realize maybe with me, you and even battles I've done, it's like we should with maybe my other opponents, and because no, some no. of these battles, I feel like they got no history, no story behind them. If you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. This was kind of when E and D were in full flow as well, weren't they? Like uh, when yeah, when, full hate. Yeah, yeah. What was what was that? What do you remember about being part of them? The people being against them, like it was one of the most fun times in battle rap. Like we at least shook shit. Like people gonna hate on us. Yeah, but if we weren't there, you couldn't. Have hated us yeah yeah true we would di- like everyone has you gotta love the bad guys in it <laughs> that's how i see it i don't mind being a bad guy i'll play the villain every day of the week like i don't care yeah but it makes it more interesting everyone's trying to be buddy buddy all the time like we come in everyone started saying fuck ian daniels and then they had to actually battle us and shit yeah 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 and there was just like ian daniels ruined battle rap t-shirts and shit like yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, coming into Tally. Don't try, prove your heart and gas like you're gonna move on barge, man. Swing on who? Add that up, do the math, be serious. That'll lead to disaster. Fuck that in a sex bomb. Mm-hmm. Niggas will get their heads off. And just, I guess, more in general as well, I want to ask about what is your, like, preparation? Like, I mean, do you sit around with a pen and pad? Do you just kind of pace the room and think, Terrible. what can I say? Like, what is it? Me. I want to know if anyone in Don't Flop has worse prep than me and Tony. Me and Tony are the worst. Right. I don't care. Me and Tony prep worse than everyone. Like, I'll be messaging Tony before like, like three days, four days before the battle. Like, you got all your bars. He's like, I'm writing my foot today. I'll be like, cool. If you're not done and I'm not done, I feel cool. If Tony has ever finished his bars before me, I'll start worrying. <laughs> That's when I feel like, oh, no, I'm not taking this. No, I don't know. Writing battle bars, I don't actually like. I'll be real. I hate writing battle bars. I find it... Obviously, I'm used to writing to music. I've written from music all my life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the beat is there with you when you're writing. It keeps you energized and you're vibing with the beat. When you're writing in dead silence, mm-hmm. it can get really, really fucking just draining, in it? Like, you yeah. lose concentration. I've got a short attention span. So when I have to sit, I might be sitting in silence just thinking of a bar. Mm-hmm. Thinking of ways to connect shit together So that shit I don't particularly like That's why my prep time takes me a while Because it takes me a while to actually start getting into it And enjoying what I'm doing Right, right, right But um, No, I'm a prep I, I prep last minute I do I prep Not really last minute Like uh, Kind of like, I can't really I'm trying to make myself sound better than I am But I do kind of prep last minute-ish Yeah, yeah, yeah like, I'll have all my ideas But the shit will get finished Close to the day of the event And I start I really think it's better like that because I'll memorize my shit so it's fresh in my head. Mm-hmm. Like I'll, I'll, I've just finished memorizing yeah. it, memorizing it. It's all, it's the first thing in my head. If you make, if you know what I'm saying. So I feel like if I learned my shit two weeks before an event mm-hmm. and then just started chilling and then started, I feel like I could choke more then. Yeah, that yeah, makes sense because it's yeah, like, it oh, I've already learned it. Battle bars, battle bars. You can ask every battler as well. Battlers forget. Battlers can't spit you their rounds. It, after no that after a month two months gone it's not like they're gonna remember their rounds yeah yeah that's it's true. weird it's not like normal I can remember bars I wrote when I was 15 mm-hmm. I can't remember my rounds for you now <laughs> yeah I can't remember my rounds for I might be able to remember my rounds for dialect right 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 yeah, but yeah, I don't right. think I could I don't think I could spit them to you without stopping mm-hmm. and thinking for a sec mm-hmm. what's mm-hmm. the next bar yeah yeah so no, I, get you, I think it's I'd, I'd rather it be like fresh in my mind like I've just memorised it and I've been practising it now for two days but I'm quick at memorising bars I realise this I can memorise shit really quick yeah 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 and is that just from being like kind of doing a lot of music and having to learn a lot of things for sets and stuff or yeah and it's just because I used to bang a lot like I listened to music as well and like back in the day when I was a kid like I used to like knowing the verses of the verses I liked in it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so when Getz used to drop a tune in Dot Rotten back like my friends know if you play me a verse or someone I actually like and will actually fucking listen to play it to me like three four times I'll know most of it damn that's crazy man I'll pay attention the first time the second time like I might not I probably won't know the bars but I'll know most of it mm-hmm. like I'm good with memorising bars and Tony's the same Tony he's really good at memorising bars writing he's like memorising is never the hard part for me yeah no I, I, I get that man and you talk I mean you talk about memorising bars but can you explain the controversy about the choke in this battle was it edited out what happened oh uh, yeah 
you know what, yeah, this is probably the battle, yeah. I let myself down the most in it because it was the battle. Still kind of to this day, I probably cared about the most. <laughs> like, I feel like the shit I wrote was some of the best shit I wrote. Yeah, yeah, crazy. And it was hard for me to top even to this day. I'm like, raw. My friends know what I say, like, it's hard for me to top the shit I wrote, came up with in my tally battle. <laughs> um, like, and I didn't prep. I knew the bars, but I don't think I practiced them. Like, if you know what I'm saying, I'd just be sitting there going over them. So I knew them all, but I didn't, like, get up, practice them, practice how I was going to... Yeah go over my performance I was kind of learning them in my head if you know what I'm saying and then when I spat them I was like oh shit I'm spitting them now I think I remember something even like when I first started spitting the bars I was like I haven't even started how I wanted to I've already oh. I've already took off on the wrong foot if you make if you get what I'm saying yeah, yeah, it's like this isn't even how I'm meant to be spitting them like I've kind of like just changed up how I was on the spot and the choke come for me the show come from me just saying trying to be too funny to be real um Tally had a long second round mm-hmm. um and I said something I was like that's the longest round you, I think you hear it they didn't you edit do, that you, out you do see you that bit yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 I was like that's the longest round longest two minutes of my life I said that's the longest two minutes of my life and he was like yeah like, you're first and I started laughing and then from there I just had a mind blank quick yeah literally I just had a mind blank for like 15 seconds and I was like oh shit and I started my round didn't and, and I just couldn't you- remember like my round, didn't it? I just forgot my whole that the first bar of my round, didn't it? It just fucked me up. Yeah, yeah, it happens, man. And like, did you first told me? First told me because first knew my bars because I sent him the voice note, innit? Yeah. And- I think he was trying to tell me about opening line, didn't it? He told me after, he's like, I was trying to, was trying to whisper to you your opening line, like, I knew it, that's how bad it was, and I was like, oh, shit. Oh, man. But um, the editing out part, I'll say something about that now, obviously, that had nothing to do with me. Yeah. Um, they edited out every choke from that event, but I'm the only one that kind of gets remembered for choking for some weird reason. Who else did I they edit out? Worse. They edited out Double L, and they edited out Dialect. Ah, uh, right. And they edited out... I think I think that's it. I don't yeah, remember, yeah, but right, I know right. they edit out them too. But yeah, like this is a really really good battle. Like you say, it's it's a bit like a war, like you wanted. Like there's long rounds, there's intricate rounds. Like I love the way Tally performs. Like you say, it is so unique. It's almost like he's like a pu- he's like a puppet on a string. The way his body moves, and he just has this really kind of like powerful presence to him. And um, I mean, your writing is dope as fuck as well. Having down for the count, like one of Dracula's henchmen. Um, you know, inherit will free money. The whole that a dead giveaway it just uh, you know really really fantastic stuff here and um a great event as well sunburn sunburn uh double over toady still double yeah. over toady one of my favorite battles yeah yeah great battle um double one of my favorite battles as well oh he's brilliant yeah yeah that was one of my favorite battles um and i like battles where there's a grudge yeah <laughs> that's what i'm saying that's why tony and shot is one of my favorites because it's us versus them yeah like, it's like back then it was more fun because it was like the team versus their team yeah you yeah, see yeah. double l in the back with all um youth and dialect at his lot it was like a fucking 20 e and d mandem on stage <laughs> and like when we went to manchester it was like the whole the mosh team versus the whole the ian yeah 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 each other the whole time like yeah that was uh and then yeah, like no. i mean in my eyes tony pretty clearly beat shotty as well like i know i know it gets debated but i can see the debate in it if someone says to me show you what i'll be like no but mm-hmm. it's your opinion in it i fuck yeah, yeah. with shotty heavy shotty's brought me out for shows and stuff so oh, that's, I that's love crazy shotty. that's cool but, um yeah shotty's a shotty's always shotty brings the all the manchester lot i've got so much love for them in it they show me like I have banter with Raptor I just tell him I'm gonna kill him again because I like why I did him off at it but yeah, yeah, yeah. he knows I fuck with him in it <laughs> yeah, yeah of course of course man we, we, we get to the next match which is you know the, the opponent that you didn't like at the time this is Big T because now you've got Briggsy dropping my name in his rhymes to get fit fuck that I'll get Briggsy Cole's line and I'll put some mind up where he sticks <laughs> And like, how did this come about? Because like, for you to like not only have a battle on the birthday, but to have a huge URL name, that's massive. To be real, yeah, they told me after Raptor, I think if I beat Tally, if I beat my next opponent, yeah, they'll give me an international on the birthday, innit? Um, I always took it with a pinch of salt, innit? I never really got gassed about it and thought, yeah, yeah, I've definitely got that. I was like, shit changes, innit? They've said this. Yeah, yeah. Might not happen. And I think there was a point it weren't happening. I think someone told me at one point, I think Furtz might have said, oh, I don't know about now. Like, I don't know what they're saying or some shit. But then Ur hit me up one day, literally just DM me. He was like, oh, it's before Ur had my number. I didn't have my number for ages. Right, right. Um, and he was literally like, oh, do you want to battle Big T? And I was like, yes. <laughs> Duh. 
yeah, obviously. Like, yeah, yeah. The guys had some fucking insane battles. Yeah, Big T's done a lot. The battle with Sue Surf's one of my favourites. Oh, that is such a good battle in that fucking shoe shop. It's amazing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. One of my favourites still. The whole put T, not going to know your alphabet to find T in the SUV. It's just perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a crazy battle. Yeah, that yeah. was a crazy shit. Such a good battle, that is. That's one of my favourite URL battles, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, so, same, same. Know, they are, they are, they are so, so, it's just so. Like, it's just gritty that battle was just gritty I feel like there's no it's just it's not like a thousand man them. it's just like yeah it just seemed like a straight one on one thing like I liked it mm, mm. no I, I like, completely no, agree no stupid crowd reaction if you feel it at home the same shit that's gonna hit in a room is gonna hit at home because there's barely anyone there you know what I'm saying yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and uh, you know the whole kind of in this battle as well like a different kind of opponent, isn't it, Big T? Because all your opponents up to this, maybe Tally less so, but obviously Big T's such a fucking massive dude. Like, how are you going to yeah. kind of like, you know, how are you approaching this? Well, as in like the name status on... Oh, no, the, I mean, like, literally like, he's, he's a massive, massive dude. dude. <laughs> yeah, he's a big dude. Um, you know what, yeah? It's harder when I've got tallies and dialects because I like getting up in my opponent's face. Mm -hmm. But I don't practice. When I practice my bars, I'm practicing like I can just get up in your face. So when I actually get in a ring with these two people, it throws me off a little. It's like I can't get in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, so the closer I get to you, the more my head's just going to start turning up. Like. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So with Big T, it's cool because he was at my height. He was just big. That's why when I'm trying to get in, like, I'm trying to spit in his ear, like, trying to spit bars, like, close to his ear and shit, like, I'm proper up on his like side and shit because like mm -hmm. he's big <laughs> he's big but you see us we're bumping each other in that battle and shit yeah yeah, like, yeah man man it's full on that's yeah. like the only battle I don't think I've laughed at <laughs> or smiled or nothing if, if you actually watch it I don't laugh in that battle <laughs> I laugh at all my battles. Yeah, I ended yeah. up just, I always do. Like, I end up just, that like, shit just makes me laugh. And uh, I don't know. I need to take it. Yeah. It's one thing I don't even like. Like, I laugh too much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, this is this is a good battle. Um, I think, you know, you definitely outclass him probably all three rounds, really. Glasses on, running that. No, nah, I think he got the last round. Maybe, maybe the last round. And the first one's good as well. I, I cut my last round short. I'm not going to lie. That's yeah, why yeah. I think he got it. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I, love, I felt myself forgetting my next bar, and I was right. like, choking again. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, fair enough, man. I love the whole second where well, you're talking about how he tweeted Tox and Flawless, making sure there's some British bitches ready. And you just go in, and like, this is this is don't flop, not a convention for blind chicks to meet fat, hideous men. <laughs> Yeah, no. Because um, he did, he tweeted them. Though. Right. I mean, was that again? Like, oh, yeah, make his... sure the, the girl's ready. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> I wish it said he's, mate. <laughs> yeah. um, the whole hang tea upside down like a pendant of satanical worship. Um, the whole. Trap will be burning. Oh, Trap will be burning. He's fucking dope as fuck, man. Um, leave yeah, this alien look like the second right. mouth. Like, oh, man. <laughs> Really? Yeah, good. but they didn't. You know what? Yeah, that crowd. I feel like that crowd was. I got them on the second day, and that crowd was a bit sleepy. Second day, I felt mm. like a lot of my bars like fully just went over a lot of them, but. I do feel like I beat him two one. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, tons of good stuff here. But obviously, the whole um, big T to a string vest is probably what most people remember. That was a heavy moment as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was like the earliest bar I thought of. Yeah. I remember telling I think I remember telling Tony I was like all I've got for him is I'm going to turn Big T to a string vest I was like that's all I have I remember telling him at fucking Matrix is your time ago oh right right <laughs> um, but then I like that bar because that's my favourite bar just because of the bar before it mm -hmm. I like the setup, the Dairy. Swiss cheese out yeah. of no, the Swiss cheese Swiss out of cheese. his chest because Swiss cheese like is the same like he's got holes in it like a string vest. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, obviously I think the big the big T to a string vest would have hit just regardless. But mm -hmm. I like it that the setup still makes sense with it if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and like what I've noticed a lot for you, I mean, you have like a House of Flying Daggers bar, you have a Rat Race bar, you have an Alien bar. Like, are you quite a film head or you just reference whatever? You know what? Yeah, I don't watch TV. Too much, like I don't watch no TV shows. That's right. why all Game of Thrones bars, all yeah, yeah, any of the all of that shit goes over my head. Breaking Bad, all of that goes over my head. I reference a lot of shit I've seen as a kid. Like a lot of my references aren't current. Mm -hmm. Like Rat Race is an old film. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, Alien Predator is an old film. Um, these old films like yeah, D'Artagnan. Yeah, just fucking watch that when I was young. Like you yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah. A lot of this shit is when I was a kid. Um, I don't watch too much TV. Like, I watch films now. I'll start watching films now. I'll be real. Like, but 
that's just because I haven't like I haven't watched it properly in years like I don't watch no series as I'm starting watching Power Oh, like yeah, day. yeah, I've heard of that's meant to be good. Start yeah. watching Power. All right. Yeah, I only start watching it because I see an episode of it at someone's and I don't like series. Do you know what it is with series? I've watched a couple when I was younger. I watched mm-hmm. uh, I watched a bit of Prison Break right. and it became shit. Yeah. Like, the first two series were good and then it was shit. Mm-hmm. I watched Heroes and the same thing and I oh, realised yeah, I was like, yeah, I Heroes. can't. <laughs> Heroes was sick, yeah? Yeah. And then it got terrible. Yeah, got yeah. Terrible. Got actually like oh my god it was one of the wackiest things ever but it started off greasy like it started off so sick but um yeah and from there I just was like I can't do it to myself anymore well, like, I, I ain't mean, watching one of these series no, and no, get no. to season 3 and think it's dead it's like no, I've wasted too much time fair enough man but um I'll let me just recommend you a show and this is also Tony Shock's and Soul's favourite show as well as mine Sopranos no The, the Wire. Wire yeah The Wire like, yeah, you've yeah, loved the Wire. the Wire man it's fucking it, all five seasons are great as well it's not none of that <laughs> five <laughs> seasons that's what I hate five <laughs> so so long like right, right, right. I'd rather watch films now I'm not yeah. gonna lie I'll bang a film one instead of it yeah, yeah, bang because no. I'd rather just watch something in an hour at like 12 at night then have to watch mm-hmm. better series and then I get to season 8 and it's terrible or no, no. usually yeah a lot of these things end terrible as well yeah, I realised yeah. that yeah, yeah, they'll be true. sick yeah and then they end it like in the world actually yeah I watched a bit of American Horror nah it's, it's not worth it <laughs> <laughs> it ain't worth it, well, it, ain't I mean, worth it. so you reference uh, Thomas Crown Affair in the next battle against you now Again, that's a fucking old ass film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, these are, a lot of these films, like, I watched with my family when I was a proper kid. Like, right, you know, when right. your family just plays you shit like Tommy yeah, Crown yeah, Affair, yeah, some yeah. old film. Yeah, yeah, very old. I don't know yeah. if even it's for 2000. It might be. No, it's 90s. It might be. It's 90s. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a yeah, 90s yeah, yeah. film. A lot of these films are 90s films. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit like that, like. <laughs> And I was like a proper kid, like. So, so I mean, um, being being offered Yunnan at this huge event as well. This is Luna's return. This is C versus Soul. Yunnan, was... Yunnan, Yunnan tweeted. Yunnan, Yunnan ah. the one who tweeted me, and he tweeted out saying that only, our only way is after he quit for a, a week or some shit. Right, for, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> he quit for like a week, and then he tweeted, "Um, our only about Gemini." Wow. I was just like, all right, let's set up. Mm-hmm. I help her, like, let's set up. Her hit me up. He's like, do you want to battle him? And I think it wasn't even that long, actually. I had for him. I, actually, no, I was. I think we got like a month and a half, or maybe two. Right. But um, yeah, I wanted Yunnan. Yunnan and Dialect, when I come in, were the two people I actually wanted. Yeah. Just because when I come in the thing, they were the two brers next in line for the title shot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everyone thought it was direct. They were the top guys other than Tony and Shoy. This yeah. was like being real. When I come in, so weren't on a radar like that. No, he'd no, been no. Banned for yeah. a while, he didn't have that steam behind him. It was just Yunnan and Dialect. Like literally, that were like everyone thought. Yeah, these are, are the next two for the title. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right. How they were seen when I come in the league, like meant something. Like so, I was like, all right, I want to prove that I can at least spar with them or beat them in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, this is, a, this is a great, great battle on your part as well. This is a, your first time in ministry. Obviously, you've been there twice since. Like, did you feel confident yeah. on such a big... I mean, there's so many people there. Uh, the first time I was at ministry, it weren't ministry that was, like, different for me. It was um, the stage. Yeah. The, um, the sort of raised pit thing in the middle. I'd never been on one of those. So I remember when I walked in the ve- in the venue, innit? I come there early, innit? Yeah. And I literally just walked in. And it was just fans in the room. It was like barely anyone, but it was like a couple fans there. And I just jumped on the stage in the middle, yeah. And I was just started trying to get like the vibe of it. So I was like, hmm. I was like, I, and you clocking about, I was like, I ain't even going to move around too much for this. And I ain't going to let the pit yeah, try yeah. overthink my performance. I'm just going to spit bars to you now, innit? You went for that crown and... Yeah. We know how that went down, let's clear. <laughs> we know how that went down, but the fans thought you would take it proud. You had the whole crowd prepared. For a minute, you stole that picture, then had to give it back. That's the true story about Thomas in that crown affair. I mean... <laughs> The first time on the platform, yeah, I think that was the only thing that was weird for me because I'm not used to having people everywhere around me. I've, my last mm. pit battle was Frankie. Yeah. From there, you know what I'm saying? That was like over a year ago, I think. But like, that's what I mean. It was like, oh, this is a different stage in it for me mm. I don't to be real I prefer normal stages to platforms right yeah they've done, I don't know why yeah they've kind of experimented with it haven't they and it's kind of had mixed results sometimes it seems to work it's, and then... it's cool like it is cool like when you're on stage it's cool like in my dialect battle I feel like I did better I was used to it more and I feel <laughs> like it shows in like what I did and my performance and the way the crowd received me and that but 
I definitely, I don't know. I definitely, if it's going to be a pit, I'd rather it just be a pit. Like, me on the floor, not on the raised platform. And if it's going to be a platform, I'd rather it be like a stage at the back kind of thing. No, totally. Yeah. But some people love it though. I ain't going to yeah. front. Some people, like, I'm, I'm one person that falls this way. Some people love the raised pit. Like, I know battlers that love it. They're like, no, it's more gritty. I'm like, all right. I was like, I like just knowing my performance better. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like my performance is better on a on a stage. Yeah, yeah. I than mean, a than a platform. Yeah, the performance here is is dope, and I mean, again, really, really good rounds here. Yunnan kind of has a good second, and then kind of, I mean, it's kind of a bad omen, isn't there, when he says Richard he other, Hamilton he other, rather than Richard Hammond? And everyone yeah, my brethren are in the back. Yeah. It's my brethren. It's not oh, even it? everyone. It's my brethren behind me. Yeah, because I didn't even know. This is this is what I'm saying. Like yeah. the bar I said to him, yeah, that he rebelled. It was when uh, Jeremy Clarkson yeah. got kicked off. They were talking all that shit about he's going to get kicked off mm-hmm. and that. I don't watch the show though. Yeah. I just see it. This one, I don't. A lot of time different stuff I might not have seen the films I might just know yeah, enough yeah. to reference shit that like with Breaking Bad I don't watch Breaking Bad but I had a line against Dialect Breaking Bad spin-off uh, Better Call Saul because yeah. I know that's the spin-off mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like I don't watch it though I've never seen Breaking Bad or these things in it there's a lot of, I've got a lot of references like that <laughs> Where I don't really I know enough about what I'm talking about, but I don't watch the thing. Like, but um, yeah, my brethren's in. The, I didn't know what he said was right or wrong. You see it in my face. I was just like, I don't know what who that is, and yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't know, and yeah. and then all my brethren's know what he's on about, so they're the ones shouting, "It's Hammond!" Like, <laughs> I have one Geordie brother with me, and I remember I heard his voice like, "It's Hammond, man!" <laughs> like, my brethren's from Newcastle. And that, oh, so. no, nice, nice man. Well, uh, yeah, and it sort of throws you and a bit off, and. Uh, you know, he kind of delivers his first not badly. He brings you a Cornish pasty at the end of his first. A bit weird. Yeah, that fucked me up a little. Cause I had a flip and then I forgot it halfway through. That uh. I just had to run with something. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that was random. I think his first was good, but he just had a little stumble in it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the first would have been a bit more debatable if he didn't have that stumble. Yeah, because um, they liked his shit. I feel like a lot of his shit, though. I feel like. He might have got more reaction, but I had more just direct shit. My shit was, a lot of my shit was directed for you, and even the Thomas oh, Crown affairs. Like even my punchlines, like I try relating to him, like mm-hmm. instead of them just being punchlines about I'll kick your face in or some shit. Nah, a lot some... of his were like he had crazy bars, but a lot of them was like I'll spin gems or it's the sack. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like his wordplay was crazy. Like, you know, the beast. Yeah, I Four mean, one of my favourites. Oh god, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's no doubt a beast. But this, your second, the writing in his second, is so good. All the bright, bright ideas up in Thomas Ed isn't going to stop me. The Thomas Edison isn't going to stop yeah. me ending him. Uh, villains on deck that will stomp your melon in. Yeah. Just, what was the end of that? The um. Uh, uh, I'll make you. You're not American. Hey, the situation's oh, yeah. got so president. Hey, you're not American, but the sit. Situation got so president that for the right price I make you disappear from the scene I make Thomas Jefferson mm. I thought that was one of the best things I wrote but so the crowd hard. didn't really fu- I delivered it not that well this is the thing sometimes that's what I mean by sometimes I don't prep I don't prep how to sell my shit right yeah, 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 yeah. that's what I feel like I let my bars down on because like sometimes I write my shit too quick and I won't like go back and that's what I feel like I need to do go back and rewrite it yeah and you, which you, I don't do no, my first you, draft is the draft I keep <laughs> <right>. <laughs> you're doing pretty well so far with your first drafts man so uh, you know and, and you have a nice that's scheme fine. that's like you were talking earlier about sort of the difference between bars that you put on music and schemes in music this feels like something that could be in a track uh, putting Yunnan in the earth and it's war today won't catch the wind I've been fire he's lost his element you know oh yeah 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 but that, like I said that was just a quick one it wasn't right. like a long full I think like I think I might have said it all in one bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, that was it. That, I mean, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. just one bar. That's what I mean. I don't mind like short bar schemes because to me that's just a bit of wordplay in it. Um, but it's like if I said that over four bars, so if I had the fire in one bar or wind in the other bar, then water, and then right, I say right. it, I just feel like it would have been too drawn out. Right, like. right, right. right. And, uh, but I like having things I don't like just having random like my con- like filler if you know what I'm saying just not saying nothing so I try and make like what I say in between like still if you actually look back on camera and you think about it like when you said it it's like I forget these bars because these are bars before the main bar if you know what I'm saying mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, these are the bars to get to the bar I'm trying to get to really 
totally, man. And we have a lot of Yunnan Dragon Rap mode, you know, in his second, especially. Uh, prize it from between. You want to win, you're going to have to prize it from between my jaws. Pride you've never seen before. Writing in hieroglyphics as a depict Leviathans and Beasts of War. I mean, it depends where you stand with that sort of stuff. Are you kind of done with Yunnan, that kind of mode of address? Um, I don't like the 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 horrorcore shit. Yeah. That's what I call it. It's, it's not really yeah. dragon rap. It's horror. No, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. whole. It's kind of like the way Rhyme Asylum used to rap in the sense. Yeah, 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 um, and I like that from Rhyme Asylum and stuff when they did it. And it's kind of like it's it's got kind of a uh, a dated feel to it because it shows you can rap in it. It shows you can you can use creative shit. Like I see why people do it. It's creative in it. It's like thinking of shit that's abstract and that, but. Oh. I feel like it works but maybe not against someone like me because I'm not going to talk about that stuff people know the stuff that yeah. I talk about and they know like I say my stuff like, like the stuff I say is different to the stuff you know I'm going to say I'm going to talk about real stuff I'm going mm-hmm. to talk about my life your life I'm going to punch you with bars like, I'm, that I'm, like yeah I feel like they work against someone who does maybe like a similar thing mm-hmm. or like less of what I do but I feel like I don't know. Just the angles that I took compared to the dragon rap shit, it's not going to match up, innit? Yeah, no. Like, be- even if someone else did it, I just feel like it's not going to match up because at the end of the day, like, that shit could be said to anyone. Yeah, so, um, so you, yeah. Can, you can dragon rap everyone. You can't, you can So you're, you're not going to pick up a pyramid to put into his ribs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I ain't going to do that. You're never, like, you don't really, sometimes I do little dabs of things that are a bit like that, I think. Maybe, like, because I probably do. I'm not, like, trying to say it's all whack. I mm-hmm. probably have bits of shit that's like similar to some sort of horrorcore if I go back and like look at all my battles it might be signed but I don't really think so like it's, I've never spoke about dragons or no, 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 no. like mythical creatures if I do I might say a punchline like I don't know right 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 <laughs> yeah yeah no, save the punches man you don't want to you don't want to leak them on here and uh, and the third your third is unbelievable like a huge exposure round I mean people already know obviously Tommy's kind of been in trouble for a common assault as he says in the, in the third round and you kind of go deep with that and then when you're delivering all this stuff you I see you kind of dap him up and say like are you okay with me yeah, doing yeah, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously I was cool with you that like I got no problem with you man you know that's all I fuck with like mm-hmm. really like I I'm cool with him like he's the best guy like all the issues he's had with everyone else and what everyone sees him as he's never shown me no disrespect he's never come at me no way like he's never said nothing rude to me ever so he's always been blessed with me he's like um no it's because he nodded didn't it he nodded to me and I just mm-hmm. tapped him and I just smiled didn't it because like for me it's like I'm still bantering like we were bantering before the battle and it's like that's why that battle was a bit too laughing in it because like he was, I was chilling with him before the battle yeah because like, yeah, yeah. I was outside the venue and he was outside the venue and I was just, I think I was just chilling in it and we were just chilling cracking joke before so when he got on stage I was like oh I don't like seeing my opponents this much before the battle like <laughs> but um nah he was cool man like he was cool I was blessed like he didn't have no problem with it no, I no, said it in a round like I said it I was like I only like I was like you keep saying you keep say, bringing it up in battles where no one said it I was like the only person that said it was Old English you're the one in other battles saying they're defending it like it's been mentioned ridiculous times like you bring it up in every battle what it's about like, yep. that's literally what it was, was like, you bring it up all the time less and you say it weren't true so let's get into it Like, and yeah to be real if I didn't do it this is one thing this is the main reason I did it yeah and it sounds dumb yeah but it's so true someone else would have done that exact same thing because the same way the reason I know that isn't because I fucking searched his name I'm not that type I don't care to search mm-hmm. I do not search someone's name when I battle them yeah. I just said it in a way that was applicable for everyone else to see it if that made sense mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it got tweeted out time ago you know I, 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 I searched his name after watching his battle yeah um, exactly yeah. and then everyone that's why I said it I was like alright well so people can't say I'm bullshitting and rare 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 it's like I can't say oh yeah someone tweeted it out time ago and deleted the tweet and that's how I see it but that's what the tweet said to like search his name and this comes up and it was a screenshot of like it was like the whole page in it with the whole article right. and it happened months before I battled him <laughs> and I was like if I don't do it like they're battle this for it I was like so if I don't do this someone else is going to do it anyway it's like same thing I think kind of said to Frankie I was like well I got you kind of for the ghostwriter shit no one else is really can do it like that mm-hmm. in the same sense like you have to kind of get the, the obvious shit out of the way yeah 
Yeah, like, yeah. Same with same with Raptor and breaking down that whole Raptor crap. Like no one can really do it like that again. Same with Clips doing the Gemini scheme on me. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Like, no. Certain things you just they're common in it you know what I mean it's like they're common yeah 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 yeah. naturally man and uh, just in the third as well you mentioned the whole Money Mitch saga uh, with, with, with you Nan and there's a really funny I mean, that would have come out the same shit with that yeah. that would have come out Money Mitch is my brethren first yeah. of all innit? so if anyone's gonna use Ian Daniels he's my brethren so mm-hmm. if anyone's gonna tell that story it's gonna be me and I weren't there there were battle rappers there it was in front of loads of battle rappers I don't really need to go into it no, it's not no, a really big deal um but the situation I spoke about, it's like, I knew that. It's like the same exact thing. It's like, if I don't say this, someone else is going to say it anyway. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's going to tell the story that happened with one of my peoples when they were there. So it's like, it's more important. Like, it's better coming from me than it is someone else because it makes more sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, I, I really like the idea as well you have of him getting out his apology checkbook, you and just being set upon and again, sort of going back on his word. And, and then at the end, Money Mitch has to proofread his tweets um, before they go out. It's really funny as well this is a bit that's like the most personal I've got in it so yeah it is yeah it's proper personal yeah yeah it is yeah it's deep um, so but you know what yeah because the thing is yeah with Yunan as well yeah he told me before the battle he's like I've just come with bars and I was like well awkward a bit. <laughs> yeah I was like you know he said it I was just like I couldn't even say that I was just like yeah yeah and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. But the thing is, yeah, with Yunan, yeah, it's the problem that like, he kind of, he, he, he knows he has to expect that shit. He said some of the most disrespectful shit. Mm-hmm. He's done personals before. He said my man raped a chicken. He had a whole third round about Tony's sister and shit. So mm-hmm. I thought, like, um, that's the same Yunan I'm going to get. He's going to go back, maybe listen to my tunes, try to talk about, I don't know, anything he can. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, I thought that's what he'd be on. I thought he'd be coming with his dirty shit. So I don't have an excuse for it. It's not like I feel bad it's not like I've, I'm not trying to make excuses I've no, it because I'm trying to like, rip man's head off innit they, like, I did expect him to come with that same type of shit I thought Yunan's gonna try try come personal if it's anyone innit so, like, yeah 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 no no I get I get you man so th- the next battle I just want to talk about um, is uh, well finally is the Clips battle like how the hell I mean to battle Clips is, is John no I had dialect before Clips you know oh is it dialect before Clips yeah just oh. dialect battle came out oh, my Clips battle came out for, um, oh, that, first oh, that's, that's right it was after sorry yeah uh, so dialect quickly then um, coming into the dialect battle like you said that Yunnan and dialect were your sort of two was this something yeah. you were really G'd up for yeah yeah as much as I could be I had a lot of shit I had a lot of shit going on right. last year in it so my head weren't fully in the game like but I was I get yeah I wanted to battle dialect a lot I put a lot of thought into dialect in it <laughs> No, the, write, um, the writing's insane. The whole I ain't had a fight with a guy in my size in my life. Like when that dropped, that weren't even that no. wasn't even supposed to be a bar. Though. No, that, that was, was huge, like, wasn't it? That was just my bars. Yeah. yeah, that was that was that was the weirdest part. Like, I was like, this is just my bars, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like I expect don't I didn't expect that to get no reaction. I thought you just let me keep going and get to my normal bar. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, everyone. Yeah, I had bare people hit me up about that. Like, and I was just yeah. like, blood, like, I'm like five foot nine, blood, like five foot nine, ten, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not that tall, cause like <laughs> no. In the whole, um, uh, you know, when 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 you have a bad dream, you wake up, your wife's there. When I have a bedroom, I wake up to a nightmare. Like it's just it just yeah. it's so hard, doesn't it? Yeah, obviously, some of that shit I was saying, obviously related to the time, like you know. What I'm yeah. So I was trying to like Obviously in battles I feel like you gotta give You gotta give the fans Something to relate to Mm. That's what I've realised It's not just Some people feel like You just gotta punch People's head off And it's like You do yeah But you gotta show your character Because fans like your character So you gotta at least Let them know Some shit You know what I'm saying Mm -hmm. You gotta give them Something that's not just Bars Or dissing man Yeah yeah Like same with you And people that's why when people Yunnan spits and stuff it's like certain things like about Dragon Rap it's like right, but you could talk about some real shit instead and it would hit harder mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like I feel like Relatables I've always said this Relatables Relatables hit harder than Punchlines yeah all the time yeah of course because if there's something people relate to it hits them in a different way than a punchline mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's, it strikes a chord with them you know what I'm saying yeah yeah, no, if they relate to something you're talking about so 
Always try to put some relatables in there. No, totally, man. And um, there's also bars as well. Uh, got these shot covered more than the controller when you're doing a penalty shootout on FIFA. Yeah, that uh, one I knew everyone would go for because yeah. that's a relatable and a punchline. Yeah. <laughs> and but yeah, that one I knew. That one I knew. I was like, this is a great way to finish this shit. Right, right, right. You know, that's hilarious. Like, and then the whole. A great way. And then, I mean, something I rarely see you do, really, and this is a name flip on Marcus Freckleton, not on dialect, but the whole kind of breaking down his name and then sort of face you wouldn't see a Mark or Freckle on. It's, it's just crazy. Yeah, it's not really my style. No, it's not jokes. actually. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Because it's don't flop, it sounds like, obviously, I know it's don't flop, so I do. To try that my comedy is hit and miss and I always say this because a lot of my comedy I'm kind of writing because I feel like I, I should throw some jokes in there because I know don't flop like jokes <laughs> like in a weird way it's like I've got to cater to the crowd in some sense but yeah no when I wrote that yeah I thought that was jokes yeah and I think the I don't think that's jokes no, but that, I got a lot fun. I got a lot of, I got a lot of slack for that because um Apparently, Sensor had a bar like that for Dialect oh, as really? well. Okay. Yeah, but I'd never seen the battle. I'd watched Dialect from like when I say from Verdict onwards, and I thought kind of I'm not gonna lie. When I wrote it, I even thought to myself, I was like, "This is gold." I was like, "How's no one said this?" I was like, <laughs> yeah, "This shit's yeah, yeah. so it's so like for a, for a rapper." I was like, but he didn't have the mark part. That's what everyone told me. His was just something about a freckle on. Ah, uh-huh, okay. And I was like, "All oh, right, cool." Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "Well, I ain't seen that." <laughs> like, I was like, "If I was gonna jack a bar, it's me. Why am I gonna take a fucking uh, a joke?" Yeah. It's not my style You know what I'm saying It's not even my style In the first place so. Yeah 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 I thought that was hilarious No it was it hilarious It worked well Because he said my name It worked well Because he said my name So yes. it sounded like a flip Yes That's what I realised like, When I watch it on cam it's, It looks like a flip It's not a flip no. It's the way I started my round But I was like Yeah that's my name Great mm-hmm. But your name's this And mm-hmm. I was like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, well. No, it, tie, it ties together well. And I mean, like, do you do you don't flip that much, do you? Do you have that ability, or do you just not like to do it that much? You know what? I feel like I would if I if I prepped better. I feel like I'd rebuttal more. <laughs> I feel like my main focus more time is just like getting through my rounds and it. And if someone said that, like, I feel like I could, yeah, because it's actually not that hard. I've actually realised it. Like when I watch certain things, it's like it's not actually that hard. It's just I'm not feeling like it's not. It's not going on in my brain when they're spitting their rounds. Sometimes I don't even, you know, when you're just blanking them out. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If I was more alert, I'd say like if I thought about rebutting more when I go into the ring, I probably would. But I don't go up there and even think about it. So. Mm-hmm. I definitely want to start doing it. Yeah, yeah, no, I think I think because I can freestyle. Yeah, I can freestyle like like freestyling is not hard for me. Mm-hmm. Just at home or just on beats. Like I've right. been, I've been. You can ask, you can ask Danny Jack. I've been to stage. I've been performances in Brighton, and I've literally freestyled and got reloads and shit. Holy shit! Like man. I've told Danny Jack, I'm like, we're gonna freestyle because I've stage show like not stage. It's just like in a, it's like we're in a, we're spitting in like a club. You know what I'm saying? We're on a stage in a club, right, right. but it all wavy. I'm like, all we gotta do is just come up with a lot of stuff that is catchy. Like, all we've got to do right now, they, they're not trying to hear our bars, they're not trying to hear no wordplay. All we've got to do is come up with catchy. I was like, I'm going to make up slogans and catchphrases and repeat four bars and eight bars right. all night long. Yeah. I could ask Danny Jack on his life and Sleepy G, they know I did that. That's so crazy. freestyling, I don't mind freestyling. Freestyling yeah, yeah, is cool. Yeah. But I don't try it out that much in battle rap. And, you if know, I felt like I needed to, I would. Mm-hmm. I feel like I could have. When I look back on all my battles, always there's something you could have freestyled. But it's like, I don't know. It's just I ain't really practiced yeah, on yeah, the stage. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, man. I'd like to. I mean, would you? Would you ever do like say like just a one-off freestyle battle for like a don't fuck? Nah, no, never, never do a freestyle okay. battle. Fair that enough. shit's not a good look to no. me. No, fair enough. I, I don't feel like they're really a good looking gen. Like the cool, like there's some. I can't freestyle like big cannon. In it. I can't freestyle like, or I maybe can in my head. If you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I feel like I can maybe in my room because I can freestyle to myself and go on for days. Yeah, but. I don't know if I'd have that same ability first time in front of bare yeah, people like you know what I mean it right? it's the same it's like trying out it's like it'll be like my first battle again yeah yeah, like, yeah no, you know what I'm saying it'll be like I... yeah yeah uh, and then just just to wrap up your third obviously third against you now and you go very personal in this one you don't go as personal but you still sort of focus on the fact that you know he got 16k from Deal or No Deal which is crazy uh, obviously yeah. if anyone wasn't aware maybe listen to this got into Battle Up recently dialect yes that dialect was on Deal or No Deal and he did really well and you saw to him yeah he did crazy and you talk about another guy who was on Deal or No Deal that I didn't know about Noi yeah. Boy 
that's why um, Naughty Boy. Do you know the producer Naughty Boy? I don't actually know. You must know the producer. He made um, he made that thing for Sam Swift, um, Sam Smith. That oh, tune. Right. I can't even remember that big one I got around. I can't yeah, yeah, the, 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 yeah. I know which one you mean. Yeah, yeah. okay, that's cool. And uh, um, that came from Deal or No Deal. That's well, as in sort of his money. Like he's obviously he's a proper known producer. So I mm-hmm. thought like the way to kind of use this angle and to go on on Deal or No Deal when in sixteen bags they're smoking crack. Like, but dude, that's what we got to do. I was like, what did you do with it? Because Naughty Boy, he's a he and he's someone in the music industry. I'm like, it's like someone where I could relate. It's like he used that P. He got a studio now. He's here. It's like me trying to just compare the two in it. Yeah, yeah, no, I thought it was. And I was really just like the, with the 16s, I was like the 16s, the 32s, 32s, the 64 shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, it was like Marcus Freckleton, right? It was just there. You just kind of had to. Yeah, had to yeah, it. when it was like 16, I was like, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that like, is that's perfect. <laughs> it is ironic like that he won 16 grand, isn't it? It's kind of. Yeah, it's like it's like God like, helps you out sometimes yeah, when you're yeah, writing. Yeah. He just gives, he throws you the bone, like, I swear <laughs> down. Like, when I was like 16, I was like, you shouldn't. I was like, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what you write, right? 16s. Yeah. 64s. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Exactly. So, that um, was a good, yeah, that was a cold battle. That was a good battle, man. I mean, another great performance by you. Safe, man. You know, you know, really, that, really, really, really good. So, the, the next the next battle, which is the only event that Battle of the Brave threw, this is your most recent battle against Clips. Welcome to London, blood. The shit's different over here. You only ever see the nice parts, but the shit gets gritty over here. Will them gum bars sound cool? But we don't listen over here, because this ain't smack. Don't tell me about what you ain't living over here. There's a line. <laughs> Yeah. Regardless of what you want to say about Clips, I'm not like his biggest fan per se, but like the guy's a fucking giant of the scene. Like there's yeah, no he's doubt. A legend, he's an absolute legend. Yeah, yeah. He's I mean legend. I mean he's brilliant. He's just not the my cup of tea but, but like this coming like how did this battle I mean, did it start with them getting in contact with you? Were they looking for someone to battle clips or what was it? Um they were throwing a card. They obviously they wanted obviously it was mainly Pat Stay and yeah. Hollow. It was a Pat Stay and Hollow thing. Mm-hmm. And that's where it c- came from. Like you see, I think Pat Stay they announced. That. I think Pat Stay announced it um, when he battled Ilmac in it um, for the title. Um, when he lost his title, yeah. he was like, "Yeah, I'm better than Hollow the Don in London, isn't it?" Mm-hmm. So obviously we were all just like, "Raw, like, what's this about?" Yeah, because like, we know it ain't don't flop in it. I know it won't don't flop. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Where's he battling in London?" And then I was at I was at Matrixes again, and I was with Matrix and Tony and them lots. And I think Tony told me something about he was like, "Oh yeah, Dave hollered me in it, like the same people." Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, "Raw, who do they want to give you?" And he's like, "They gave me math And he was like, "They want to get in contact with you, though, innit?" And I was like, "Oh yeah." And he was like, "Yeah, holler them on Twitter. This is their Twitter. I was like, cool." So I DM them. I was like, "Yo, how do you want to speak to me?" And then. They bowled me up straight away. They got my number and that. He called me up and they were just like, yeah, setting up this event, rare, rare, rare. Want to do a one round of clips? I was like, cool. I was like, yes, bless. And then they sent me over like um, the contract straight away. I sent it back. It was quite quick, I'm not going to lie. They handled it quite like, smoothly at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, bonkers. Is that the guy? No, no, that's the artist. This was a uh, that was the another person they got to battle. Um, this was two bros. This was one bro called Big Chris. He was the one that run it. Right. And I can't I can't even remember the other brother's name right now. Um, but yeah, and yeah, they come down. They filmed me some little uh, the little thing for the trailer. Mm-hmm. And this was this battle like it got booked when I was in my mid prep for dialect, didn't it? Like, yeah. And it was three weeks after dialect. Mm-hmm. Um, like literally it was like three weekends yeah it was like the third weekend after um and then they just told me it was a one rounder and I didn't really want to do it because time wise and just big battle Charlie Clips taking Charlie Clips on (laughs) Charlie Clips three weeks notice like (laughs) but obviously I'm not gonna I can't really say no um and then yeah when I went there it was that completely different car. It weren't no don't flock fans. Yeah. Like, none, yeah. like not one. No, there was a few, but it was like right, completely right. different. It was like, it was, it was like a smack event. Mm. Like, that's what, it, like, that's what it looked like on camera, you know what I'm saying? With the crowd reaction and shit, like, they were going off, like, was it and a no one knew. there, like timing wise, though? Apparently, like, no one was on stage on time and all that. Yeah, but, I didn't really care and a lot of people didn't like a lot of I think the crowd cared I don't think 
the crowd cared and I think the people watching at home so if you're watching at home on the pay-per-view you must have been pissed the fuck off in it but yeah. me like I was there like Kruger was there Kruger come down yeah. Impact come down he was doing the battle rap dot com shit for them oh, as well nice. um, they enjoyed like we enjoyed the event we thought it was crazy we thought it was a sick event the vibe there was not like the way the crowd was like the energy in the room was different like and it just confused me it was like why is there like 700 people that don't ever come that don't flop here it was just like why can't you not come to don't flop like like I think the crowd would be a lot better if we had not better but it would be a lot yeah it would be better if we had an extra seven if we had those battle of the brave people that were in the building there at all the don't flop events with the don't flop fans so now yeah. we've got like a proper diverse crowd like and I thought it would make the atmosphere completely different like it would make the atmosphere better because mm-hmm. then the people that watch the Battle of the Brave type of stuff they'll get adapted to the comedy side and then the Don't Flop fans will get more um, friendly with the aggressive side because everyone else is reacting it's the vibe in a room you know you deny it so if the crowd if the if there's a reaction in a room and the room's going off like you get caught up in it no matter if you really like it or not your t- opinion will change when you're in the room because <laughs> you've got to see shit to have your opinion change you can't just like watch it at home and feel like you're gonna like it and and like I mean meeting clips that must be pretty surreal to not only battle it but just to kind of you know I met clips but I met clips the weekend before innit? oh that's right yeah yeah um, birthday, I met clips yeah he was in um, yeah seventh birthday yeah um, we had a little words then um, it isn't it isn't like it's not really because like I can't I don't really get starstruck around especially someone I'd have to battle like yeah if I wasn't battling them I'd probably show like more more like oh yeah well I'll go on Charlie Pips like you're yeah, right, yeah, like, yeah. but if I know I have to battle someone it's like that goes out the fucking window <laughs> <laughs> like I can't be starstruck by no, someone no, like of course. I don't really get like, there's only a few people I'd actually like be proper like like gassed if I'm who, who like who, who, who would freak you out no, don't want to freak me out. No, uh, don't want to freak me out. But like, there's people I'd be like, oh right, and like Getz is one of them. Getz right. is like, I'm a big Getz fan. I've been a big Getz fan since I was like ten. Yeah, like literally <laughs> very young. Um, I, I've like Getz before. My friends did like when people were like, nah, I don't like him. <laughs> um, Fifty Cent, I was listening to. I was in primary school and shit. Yeah, no, yeah, if you met 50 Cent, anyone met 50 Cent, no. And I I respect him for, like, just what you've done as, like, a businessman. Yeah. Um, Yeah, there's not that many people. Like, it isn't actually that many people. No, Like, it's probably, like, them three, like, until I see someone else and all remember someone else. No, no, fair, fair. No battle rapper, I'd get that for that. No, I mean, I mean, I guess you met, I guess you met Hollow and Pat, didn't you, at this event? And they're, like, the biggest names out. I didn't meet Pat. I didn't really see Pat. I met Hollow. Hollow showed me a lot of love. Hollow, Hollow, yeah, Hollow showed me a lot of respect. Like he even hit me on Twitter after, like he DM me and shit. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, he followed me and stuff. Like he was talking to me. Yeah, he seems cool. like a cool yeah. dude, man. He seems like a yeah. really good dude. Um, he was like, yeah, he was telling me he's like, oh, your style would work out here and that. So like he was showing respect. Like, I like Hollow. I didn't really get to talk to Pat. I'm kind of pissed off. I didn't really get to talk to Pat. I didn't really get to chop up with him, man. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Hitman was there as well. Jesus Christ. What a card it was that they threw. There were the people there, though. There was Stormzy there. There was Cadet there. There was um, ah. Daneo there. There was Blitz. There was Big Toves. There was loads of just artists there. There was a lot of people in the building that day. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, like, I was running into artists. Like, yo, well, on. Like, I was talking to just people from here that I don't see too tough. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like Battle of the Brave, in a sense, it would be really good if it kept going because it done its numbers as well. Like, yeah. I, like the, the battles didn't get views. Like, my battle with Clips got the same battles it kind of would have gone don't flop mm-hmm. and they've got a lot less subscribers Battle of the Brave yeah they had like yeah got barely any it was the mm-hmm. first event like they yeah. did get good views like for the first event so and it's like they did have a different fan base it's not that they stole don't flop's yeah. fan base or a fan base that was already there like it definitely seemed like these people I'd never seen them at battle rap events that was for a lot of them that was their first you could tell mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they didn't know me None of them knew who the fuck I was. I said it on stage, like, I was like, Gemini, you know who it is. These men were just like, no, we don't. <laughs> they were in the crowd spitting Charlie. Before the camera, before the film starts, like, the, the, the battle on camera, yeah, you, the crowd was spitting his boss. Wow. And I was just on stage like, these niggas here, I'm fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, these <laughs> men here, I was like, oh. I was like, they're his fans, I'm pissed. Right. And I clocked as soon as it starts. As soon as the battle starts happening, you see my face. I'm like, yeah, 
they like him. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm fucked. I'm like, I knew this was gonna happen when I see the crowd, yeah. And I was like, these crowd is gonna love him. I was like, but it's cool. I don't feel like I got clips still, but yeah, no, I've, 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 I think I've got you beating him. Um, he's not bad. I mean, obviously he's freeing the majority no, of it. No, he wasn't even free. That was all no? written. Don't let him, was all don't let him ever say. Yeah, he wrote for me. He wrote for me. Huh? I even said it to him. I knew he wrote for me. Mm-hmm. I was like, I didn't think you'd write for me. He's like, nah, I wasn't gonna disrespect you like that. Oh. I was like, respect then. Shit. Like, I know he wrote. Those were all written bars for me. Did not freestyle that shit. Yeah, the whole five hours of head kind of thing as well. You know, is uh, that was good. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. But I heard a similar line. But yeah, a lot of Zay said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we're on the same page, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. So it's yeah. not just me being a hater. Yeah, a lot of Zay said it um, to Mr. Reed a year before in a yeah. different way. It's like the same kind of shit, but <laughs> he drops it in a cool way, and so yeah, yeah, no, no. no. I mean, clips in in front of a crowd that loves him. He's like invincible. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no. I'm the, I'm it was steps. definitely, it was definitely a. a Kips is probably that's probably the most fun I had in the battle. It's probably the battle I enjoyed mm-hmm. the most. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow! It was the most. It's the most like the crowd was just like rocking with me. It was different. Mm-hmm. I've never had a crowd rock like that. That crowd was rocking like. That's the loudest I've ever made a crowd go. Like it was yeah, a different yeah. feel. Yeah. But my punch, when your punches landed with that crowd, they boomed. Like they were booming, smashing the walls and everything. Like yeah. and obviously, like the don't foot fans, like they do do that, but not like for every, like not always. It's not like a constant thing. No. Like for soul, for soul, they do. Whew. So when Soul's in that blackout mode, yeah, that crowd is on like some neck shit. Yeah. I've never got a don't flop crowd to react like Soul, boy. You will. That's man. what I'm aiming for. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for that Soul, Soul, fucking too much level gas reaction. Because when he's on, it's the same shit. That like, when was it? It was like the title shot and the the match with Raptor when he had them two like he had that crowd just moving mm. differently like mm. <laughs> and he fucked me up I was like I battled on the same card and this crowd weren't doing that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like but his shits when he's on A I feel like he's a room rocker mm. like and mm. people wouldn't expect it from Soul like to be the room rocker you know what I'm saying because he's no. more like a performer he's more like a rapping based guy like yeah yeah nice. then he's more technical than performance and like aggression but he's got room rockers boy he does he does man he's insane like, I know what you're saying he's kind of like he's quite a bookish Scott with a lot of kind of like weird no, references you know what but... I think like I've always said this yeah the Scottish accent yeah it makes certain bars sound greasy yeah <laughs> it makes him sound like like some great I don't know yeah I think it actually makes it better mm-hmm. like, I think the Scottish accent works better for him I can't picture like an English brother rapping like so see through see through wife beater like he just sounds vexed like he just I don't know the yeah. accent works yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I completely agree. It's got like some mad conviction in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When no. he's like, oh no. <laughs> like, <laughs> and uh, has the uh, have the Battle of the Brave people been in contact with you? Because it seems like they did that one event and they've gone ghost. Like, uh, yeah, I don't think uh, the business side of shit worked too well for them. Right. And, um, I don't really know all the details, but I think like it wasn't like. Um, a profitable event. It didn't them, seem sustainable. You know no. Um, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I was. I thought the prices of the tickets were too high. That was my main thing. Yeah, how I was much like, were they charging again? It was ridiculous. Wasn't I can't it? remember, and I think they dropped the prices on the day or so. Yeah. And I was like, obviously they they started making them cheaper, but it was just like, if you done the tickets for probably like thirty pound, mm. everyone probably would have come. But I think I think my tickets might have been like fifty and sixty and shit. Right, and I was yeah. just like, I think it might have been sixty, and it was like, there's only like four battles five battles on the mm-hmm, card mm-hmm. so it's like a lot of people like I think everyone would have come I think Don't Foot fans the problem is yeah they made this is why Don't Foot fans didn't come because they made the prices more than a Don't Flop event ever is mm. and I think if they didn't do that everyone from Don't Flop that would usually they would have come they all want to see Hollywood mm. but everyone wanted to go but a lot of people were just like nah I'm not spending on my life some people would have come down and it's like what well, I've got to come down and pay 50, 50 pound or 60 pound get a hotel or some shit mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean I feel like if they were 20, 30 pound yeah they would have sold out that room would have been packed because all the same people would have came and then they would have had the whole uh, I'll say an extra 500 don't fuck people I think they would have max capacity because right. there was a lot of people there and if you add how much is usually there in a don't flop event and take off that 300 you're still going to max out the whole capacity like yeah. 
But I don't know that. I, I wish they kept going. Me too. What I they think, did was a good thing. Yeah, com- competition makes things better for everyone. You know, don't flop. I would say it's like too much competition. Yeah, I guess so. But it's almost just like what they did was good. Like mm-hmm. it was new fans. That's what I liked. They yeah. had people, as I said, like there was fake. There was like like people like Stormzy there, the Cadet, the Daneo, uh, just actual like rappers and a lot of artists. Obviously, a lot of artists come to don't flop, but it's not people not too many people that like I've never liked like a Stormzy like a so yeah the final thing I just want to ask you about before we end is um, just just your music I mean we touched on it before uh, stuff with Roars and I've been listening to Suspects Unknown the past week man it's fucking dope um, uh, Gemini I should say Gemini Faith, man. yeah no Gemini and Shinobi's uh, EP that came out I mean fairly recently wasn't it it was a year ago or so something like that uh, yeah probably about yeah, a year yeah yeah so I mean like has, has has battling kind of sidelined any music or are you still doing as much as ever? Battle rap kind of slowed down music a little bit that's why um, I haven't released as much as I used to but um, i got a lot of things coming up um, I should have something I should have an SBTV warm up session soon oh, I've got dope. a message from, from Jamar recent I just had to arrange some music on Don't Flow Up I've got, I've got no CD coming up I'm just going to start releasing music video to just work off that and then probably release a CD like next year excellent man excellent but um, yeah everyone should go check out uh, Suspects Unknown especially that's what I've been listening to and it's it's really really good but um, we, we end as we always do with a few quick fire questions Gem and the first one is uh, do you have a favourite Don't Flop Battle? Um, favourite Don't Flop Battle nah I ain't got a favourite but I've got a favourite yeah, yeah. Can, or I like any Tony Shaw, yeah, I like Tony Double O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are yeah, Tony Shaw, Tony Double O. Tony Shaw. I like those two. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, do you have a favourite uh, King of the Dot battle? Maybe Hollow vs. Pat now. Yeah. Yeah, good shout. Trying to think. Good shout. Be Big K vs. Um, Head Ice. Mm. Be Big K vs. Ill Will. Mm, mm. Those are dope clashes. I don't know, it's hard to pick. Or even Ill Mac. It's hard to pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of Big K. It's going to be a Big K battle, to be fair, because I think Big, Big K is my favourite. That does That's on King of the Dot. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking dope, man. We had had Arcade come recently, K-O. and he was like, yeah, hey, mad, like, you know. Yeah, it's definitely probably going to be. Yeah, it's Big K, Big K, Big K, Ill Will. I'm going to go with Big K, Ill Will. Um, my favourite King of the Dot battle. URL? Do you have a favourite URL? Oh, URL. Oh, it's so hard. I know. Um, <laughs> I watch a lot of URL. Yeah, me too. Um, um, Hitman Verb. Um, uh. Maybe like T Rex Uncasa. Um, yeah. Fucking hell. Um, surfing Conceded, Surfing Big T, Surfing Hitman. Um, Slightly, uh, I can't even say that. Right, right. That, I that's like enough, Hitman man. and John John, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I've got loads, though. I've missed, like, there's too many. When yeah. it comes to URL, I've watched a lot of URL battles. No, nah, man. No, nah, man. That's that's great. And uh, finally, two, two, two last questions. The first one is, um, non-hip-hop related uh, singer, artist, or bands that you really like? Um, so not Grime, you are? No, not Grime, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Hip hop artist, band, singer, or uh, like old school, like maybe like Lincoln Park. Yeah, nice. You actually had a bar about Lincoln like Park, a, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when I was young, when I was very young, um, in primary school, someone bought me like as a present once, like a Lincoln Park CD. I think it was like Meteor. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Hybrid Theory. Hybrid, no, hybrid Theory is the first one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, the first one. Is that the first ever That's album? The debut album, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that would have been the whole one, yeah, it was Hybrid Fury, and then I got the other one after. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I probably like that shit, because no, they I rap on it as well slightly, yeah, yeah. to be fair. It's, kind of, it's actually not that outside here, but when I actually say it, because they've got, they always, they've got a rapper on every That's tune, true. isn't it? That's true, but it's heavy, so, isn't yeah, it? Probably, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, but I don't think, I don't know about now if I'd actually like to work with them now, think about it, but <laughs> they're someone I'll fuck with. That'd no, be a no, weird collaboration. Like, yeah, it'd be a weird collabo, but they're like someone that's not like hip hop that like I've got. I right, fuck right. with I don't know yeah. probably like maybe like maybe like Adele fuck it Let's yeah Adele, no, that, that's the thing I like asking the battlers this question just because to see where they go because you know who I work with yeah I work with Adele Adele who I actually work with I work with Adele 
And uh, finally, I know you know you watched them more when you were younger, but do you have a favourite film, Jim? Um, I don't know. Maybe like. <laughs> Oh no, films are hard. I watch a lot of films. Thomas Crown Affair? So, no. Nah, these ain't my favourites. <laughs> Thomas Crown Affair is a good film, but ain't my yeah, favourite. Yeah, it is a good film. I do like, I do like American Gangster. It's such a cliche. Yeah, though. no, it's dope, man. I know, but it's such a cliche to it's say, yeah, I like American Gangster. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I like American Gangster. I'm, like. nah, good, good. I'm a big fan of Marvel films, innit? When they yeah. keep bringing out Marvel films, they were all my favourites. Oh, they're right. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fair enough, man. Fair a load enough. of them are shit. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, you know, a load of battlers are shit as well, but a load of them are great. Yeah. Um, it's about the same percentage. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Like, NWX are kind of like the Avengers, I guess, of some sort of shit, but. Uh, oh, my God. Nah, man. Nah, man. I want T Top's head. Types. I want T Top. I want T-Top's head on a stick. Yeah, uh, yeah. sorry. Who are you bat? Are you going to be battling T-Top at uh, fucking ABW? That would be amazing. I want T. I want Tay Rock more, but I'll kill... Um, uh, I thought to even just send some shots their way soon. Trust me. No, no, you need to, man. Because I want they're... one of them. I want one of them. I want Tay Rock really, yeah, but if I can't get Tay Rock, I want T-Top. But that's on them, whether they're really coming, whether these men are even getting their passports ready. Mm-hmm. It's too they got a passport. I don't, I don't even care. Yeah. They have to have a passport. You can't be saying, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna get no." Have a passport, and then we'll talk about you coming over. But I'll, I'll, I'll I want one of them. I want one of them. I want one of them. <laughs> and uh, you, I mean, and if I get one of them, it's gonna be a different story. It's gonna be a different gem. It's not gonna be like any gem anyone's ever seen in their whole fucking life. Oh, like, man, I, I, want, I, want, I want you versus two T tops so badly. Like I just know you'll kill it. That'll be such a good battle. Like it'll be so much I more. I think they'll both be good. Yeah. I just feel like it'll be a war. Like. Yeah, 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 I won't let them. No, because I don't play. I don't like Amer. I don't. I don't like playing with these Americans. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like I'd rather lose to a UK brother than an American brother. Right, fuck right, that. Right. I'm not having you got coming over here. Ban that. Nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, fuck that. So. <laughs> All right, man. Well, um, and they're big names for me, but yeah. Yeah, they're huge up, names. Man. They're huge names. So, um, finally, how do people get at you? Like, where's your music? Your Twitter, etc. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you follow me, Gemini. Gemini1 underscore LDN on Twitter. Make sure you go to Bandcamp. That's www.geminiwldn.bandcamp.com. Download Suspects Unknown with Shinobi. Shinobi at Shinobi Music at Twitter. All right. Well, that's dope, man. And again, thank you so much for being on, bro. Yeah, thank you for having me, brother. Make sure you subscribe as well, Battle Rap Resume. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it from Jem. You heard it from Jem. Yeah, you gotta uh, subscribe. Don't, don't listen if you're not subscribing. You gotta subscribe. How did it all start for me? I was in a playground, Marcus set the bar for me, I was like 10 years old, I didn't know this was a part for me, I gave it up for a little bit, then when I came back 14 years old, knew that this was a part of me, me. and some man fell off me, I was mastering flows, becoming the best of my craft, like a teenage leg lass in a field that was practicing archery, I'll make a canvas a masterpiece, that man used to laugh at me, but your notepad looks like a shield, my notepad looks like an armory, and that's back then, ain't bars each with a man then, but it's all changed up now, all chasing a dream back then, I'm the one that don't wanna wake up, how did it get like this, now I stand alone, no ciphers now all the man them grown the man them shot the man them the man them got used for the girl at home i was on my own team